Pink Poodle Crabs, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crabs is the way. What a good boy. Hello. Hello, everybody. What you doing? Sorry for my lateness. I was trying to take care of a couple things and get stuff done and, you know. Well. Waiting makes the heart grow fonder. Sorry. But you have Janie to keep you company. I, I said at the beginning I was going to be late, or Laura said anyway. I told I told Laura because I was talking to her. I said, let them know that I'm going to be a few minutes late. <laughs> because I was trying to get things straightened out with my stuff and the peep and the puppies and the puppinos who kept sneaking. Danny's eating goulash? What are you eating goulash for? Is it ghoulish? I bet that's yummy. Hi, Giovanna and Janie, and Jeannie, and Sandy, and Gail, and Clint, hello, and Sue. And Karen, and, and uh, Barbara, and Pauline, and JD, and Penny, hello Penny. And anybody else that's come in that I did not say hello to. Hi, Tammy. Hello, hello. Mm. Cutting. Cutting paper. Oh. Making my wonderful little tiny papers, which these I'll use for giveaway stuff. I made those so small. So how's everybody doing today? Is everybody over the Christmas BS? That's what I was doing this morning. I was up since 8 o'clock this morning. And I was, um, I got rid of all the Christmas stuff out of my room. Yay! <laughs> I got it all out. Like, get out! Because I the because of that stupid tire incident, and I, that consumed like two, at least two days this week, which really threw me off. Um... And then Christmas, of course, it was like I was stuck and I was like, I can't get anything done. But I got two tires yesterday and then I was able to go to the creative reuse. So typically I don't go to the creative reuse the day before an auction. Hell no. Because that's a lot of work to get the stuff, get it in the house, which takes time because I got to use a wagon and I got to drag it up the sidewalk and I got to lug it all in the house. And it takes several trips to get it out. And then not just that, but then I have to sort it and I have to sit and sort it all out. And after I sort it all out, you know, I got to bring it and lug it into here, into this room. And yeah, it's a process. And normally I don't do it the day before, but I had no choice because I didn't have a car. <laughs> so my car tire was broke. Chris was being an ass, so I couldn't get him to help me without being an ass. So I said, forget it. And I got my friend Angela's husband came and he put the donut on the tire. And then I had to go up and get, I thought it was going to be a full size spare, but it wasn't. So then I had to take that and go get some used, good but used tires from Discount Tire. Because I thought I had enough to get tires, but I didn't take into effect that they were going to charge me not just for the tires, but then to install them as well. And I thought, you know, I didn't think it was going to be that expensive for a couple tires. So I was like, forget it. I'm like, I will just get a couple used tires that'll get me through for, you know, six months a year. And, you know, I'll get new tires. But 
how annoying. But I actually did get two nice tires. They were like fairly expensive tires and they still had like 35,000 miles on them. Like, you know, they were still in good condition. So I was like, oh, okay, th that'll work. So they were nice tires, but they make a lot of noise when I drive. They're very loud. I don't, I've never had loud tires before. <laughs> it's just weird, but hey, as long as they work, I guess I can't bitch. Hi, Laura. And hi, T. And hi, Kathleen. And anybody else that came in. You're going to watch what game? You're watching a game? Yes, it was some expensive freaking ice. Well, I'm glad it happened then. Then if I was go on my way to the creative reuse and my tire blew out on the interstate. Because the way the tire had a hole in it, it would have blown out on the interstate. Can you imagine going 65, 70 miles an hour and my tire blowing out? So I'm glad I just went to go get ice and I only went around the corner. <laughs> No, they don't seem loud. They are loud. Like, I literally had the radio on at a normal, you know, before I got the new tires. I had the radio on, and it was at, like, 6, and that was fine. I could hear it, but it wasn't, like, super loud. Well, I had to crank it up to 10 because they were so loud. I've never had tires that loud. Never. And it was almost to the point where I was going to ca call them and be like, um, are these tires supposed to be making that much noise? Like, they were, they're loud. They're like actually loud. I was I was trying to call Barbara because I wanted to see if she can hear it through the phone because they were loud, really loud. I don't know. I'm assuming. I mean, they it drives fine and everything. They're just really loud. I'm just like, what the hell? I know they had to put a different size tire on, which could be why because they didn't have any used tires that were. The right size so they had to put a size smaller i don't know so maybe that's why i don't know because of the rubber maybe maybe it's because they're a more fancy tire they're more expensive they're like 150 dollars tires 150 dollars a piece or some shit mm. hi mindy Yeah, they use fancy rubber and it probably has like diamonds in it or something. <laughs> they use that they use that all-terrain diamond rubber. <laughs> it's the fancy it's the fancy stuff that the rich the rich folk use. It's got gold encrusted studs on it. <laughs> I don't know. Beats me. Beats me. Oh, you want to see the thing I made? I got some new doodads in. I got, so I got more suns and I have more suns that have the holes in it too. So I have more suns. And then this is called a sun, a sunflower, a sun or a sunflower, excuse me, crystal thingy. Um, Cause it has, if you look in it, you can see that it's got like a flower. It's really pretty. And so not only do you have on this, you, you have the bottom one, which is shaped like a flower. So not only will you get rainbows through the bottom one, but you'll get rainbows through that one, which is like the same size. And then there's the sun at the top. So isn't that pretty? And it's a rainbow because it's got all the rainbow colors. It's got the red and the orange and the yellow and the green and the blue and the indigo and the purple. And then I added a pink at the bottom too, because I thought that was pretty. But in between each one is an is a an AB crystal. So I just thought that was so pretty. Eee, pretty, 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 pretty. So I'll have that one up for sale later. All right, I'll put that there for now. But yeah, I got all kinds of new goodies in for my crystals, which I'll be putting up. Um, I'm going to be taking orders for some because I've got some new like charms for the top. I've got some new do daddy balls. <laughs> I said balls. Let me show you where the big ones go. There they are. Oh my God. Get over here. I got these ones here that are like, they're considered, I think it's called like a disco ball uh, spear because of how it looks and how sparkly it is. Isn't that cool? It's real heavy. But this one is really pretty. 
Yeah. So I've got those. I'll stick it over there for now. Um, and I've got new all kinds of stuff. So, yay. Uh, let me know. I can send an invoice to your email. Oh, I'm, I'm reading my own night bot. Oh, God. I was like, what? Because I didn't see the top of it. It was like at the top of the chat. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> Duh. Look what else I got. I got this at the Creative Reuse and it holds all my damn stickles. Except for these two bottles, which are like stuck upside down right there. But see how it holds the stickles? Except for when I tilt it and they all start falling out. I've got a stickles tower. <laughs> I found that at the Creative Reuse and I was like, I want that. That'll fit my stickles. You wish there was a creative... There might be. I mean, have you checked around, Penny? Thanks, Clint. I like it, too. It works good. I thought about putting my alcohol ink in there, but they're, they're already up there. I have a spot for them. But I didn't... My The way my stickles were, I wanted them... Oh, now I have more space in my little rotating thing that I got from Harbor Freight or whatever. Well, they will. I mean, if you open a creative reuse, you, you, I think they have to be run as a nonprofit, but you can get like, I know in the States, if you open one, which I actually considered it, the state or the county that you live in will help fund it as well. Because especially if you're saving the environment by keeping trash out of the landfills and stuff, which is what my creative reuse does. Um, so yes, yeah, so, I mean, They've kept like several million pounds of, I think it's several million pounds of, uh, it's either million or billion at this point. I don't know. They've kept a lot of trash out of landfills. They have a thing written down. I forget. I haven't checked it in a long time, but they usually have it written down how much trash they've kept out of the landfills. That's their main goal. They're a nonprofit. So everybody there that is volunteers and stuff. Hi, Estrada. <clears throat> Hi, Johnny. <laughs> Creme brulee lady. I'll have, um, I'm going to be making, I think, sugar cookies with frosting on them for uh, New Year's Eve. And we're going to be playing Pictionary on New Year's Eve. And you guys are going to get to play along. And it's going to be a lot of fun because anybody that wants to play along and guess what I draw, I'm going to give them, they can message me and I'll give them my phone number and they can call me and be on speakerphone and be guessing the whole time and watching the video of what I'm drawing in my kitchen. I'll have like a thing and they can watch what I'm drawing and guess and win point and, and like win points, I guess, or whatever. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> and I'll be making strawberry daiquiris. And so is Janie. Janie's going to be making strawberry daiquiris, too. <laughs> I do. I suck at Pictionary, too. That's why it would be funny. It's all for fun. I suck at it, too. I can't draw worth of nothing. And so <laughs> that makes it hard to do. So is everybody ready for our auction? Does anybody not know the rules of the auction? Um... Nightbot usually puts that in uh, somewhere here. Oh, I don't have the ticker on. Uh, let me grab my information so I can put the ticker on first. That would make a heck of a lot more sense. I'm a little out of it because I've the past couple of days have been like so hectically busy that I don't. It all kind of mushed into one day somehow. I don't know. I know I went at one point, I got sleep last night, so don't worry, but I, I got sleep last night, but the day before I went 48 hours on one hour sleep. That was interesting. I went to the creative reuse and I was like a zombie because first I had to go get tires. I had to sit, I got up real, well, I tried to go to sleep the night before, but didn't end up sleeping. So I, I slept for maybe an hour and then I went to get my tires and I fell asleep in the chair at the tire place and then, 
And then I went to the creative reuse and did all that and then had to bring it all in. And yeah, it was, it was an ordeal. All right. A ticker that talks about the class that we did. I have to change it right now. And there we go. And put in that instead. There we go. Information about the auction. Woohoo. Okay. But anyway, the auction goes as follows. I'll give a quick rundown. The rules are, um, let me get a link to the rules just in case you guys don't know it. Uh, let's see, Nightbot has it in there. There we go. Nightbot puts the rules up every now and again, but I will put the link in the chat here. So I just put the link in the chat for the rules. If you'll click on that and go check them out. But basically, we um uh we do the auction is for anybody anybody can as long as you read the rules and follow what you need to do in the rules because the first rule is basically if you're new to my auctions you've never bid on anything before you never bought anything before you just basically have to send me an email or a facebook message with your youtube name your legal name and your street address and i need that in an email and the email is in the ticker and then it's also in the rules as well. Um, my email is there. That's also my PayPal information. Uh, if you're new to my live streams as well, the first thing, if you if you win the bid on something, if you bid on something and then you win it, you have to pay for that item immediately through PayPal, just the one item. And then if you buy other things, you can wait till the end of the night to pay. But it's just basically a good faith payment that I know you're serious and you're not just over here yanking my yanking my chain so the first item you win you have to pay for immediately and then the rest of it you could pay for at the end of the auction everybody has to pay via paypal at the end of the auction there are a few exceptions if it's somebody i know really well that have been coming to my auction and you can't pay till friday or because you don't get paid that's fine um, just make sure you message me as long as it's not somebody that's you know you, as long as it's like you know if it's you know as long as it's like no later than like a couple of days that's fine and as long as you're not doing that all the time it's fine um but if i don't know you that well and you've only come to my auctions a couple times then no you have to pay today um and um yeah uh what am i thinking of what else what else what else okay so janie She's going to run the timer and basically what happens is she'll say the word go um, in the chat and that's when the bidding will start when she says go and the bidding goes in dollar increments. So basically, you know, most items start at one dollar unless it's unless I say differently, but I usually say the bidding is going to start at a dollar and you just bid and that's it. So Janie will say go. We'll say go, and then you could start bidding, and you'd put, you know, a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, a hundred thousand dollars. You know, I'm I'm fine with that. You could bid that, and I'm just kidding. Um, and you bid until, uh, she says stop, and she'll say stop, and so the bid right before the stop, um, would be the winner. Okay, that would be the winner. Sometimes it happens where, you know, let's say Mary bid ten dollars right before the stop and jen bid twelve dollars but it came in on my end on my screen on my chat it says that jen is after the stop but on her screen on jen's screen it looks like she's before the stop and janie also gives a 30 second warning too so she'll it'll go and then at 30 seconds she'll say 30 seconds um, and that's when a lot of people start bidding a lot if they really want something, you know, they'll, they'll kind of like bid slowly. And then it, when she says 30 seconds, like people will bid more. That's where this problem can come in. And it doesn't happen all the time. Um, I don't even think it happened at all at the last auction, but sometimes it'll happen where somebody will say, well, mine, I got mine in before the stop, but I go by what's on my screen only because I can show my screen and somebody has to be the official screen. So, you know, I can do this and say, look, here's the chat. This is what I see and show everybody what I see. So I have to go by that because YouTube, you know, internet, people have different lags and stuff like that. So 
you know, some people might show that, you know, something different and other people show something else. It happens, you know, but it doesn't happen that often. Unfortunately, I just have to go by what's on my screen. But also at the same time, if Janie says stop and let's say, you know, Mary bid $10 and Jen bid $10 too. Um, but here's the stop. It'll go to Mary because she's the first one that bid $10 and Jen, you know, bid $10, but she, what, you know, she needed to really bet, bid 11 or $12, but she didn't get it in in time and Mary gets it at that point. So if there's two of the same price, it's the first person that had that price that actually gets it, if that makes sense. Um, and then of course, at the end, just keep track, have a little piece of paper. And every time you win a bid on something, just, you know, jot down, okay, I won that for $10. That was $5. That was $6. And keep track of it this way at the end, before you leave, it doesn't have to be at the end of the auction specifically, just whenever you're leaving. Like if you're like, oh, I'm only staying till seven o'clock and you're here at seven o'clock, just go to my PayPal and put, you know, whatever you owe, whether it's $25, $50, whatever, pay whatever you owe. And then the shipping, I will do the shipping price within two weeks. It takes me a while to get the shipping because it's a lot. I usually have like 40, 50 items and, you know, several people. And so depending on, and I also have other obligations. Obviously, this isn't my only job. So I have other obligations I have to work in as well. So it takes up to two weeks for me to get you your, um, your total, your shipping total. And most of the time, if I know you, even if I give you my, give you the shipping title, shipping total, sometimes I've already got it packed up. I've already paid the shipping and it's going out the next day, even though you haven't paid your shipping total yet. If I know you real well, I'll do like, I'll do that. And then you'll just give me the shipping total and then it's already on its way to you. Um, this, pa I do have like three people that their items are going out on Monday from the last auction because of the whole issue with my car and Christmas and Christmas Eve. There was a lot of days where I had no, I had to concentrate on other things. And so I was a little bit late. Sometimes I'm a little bit late with a couple people, depending on what the situation is, but typically everybody's is sent out within those two weeks. Most of the time they're, they all will get sent out throughout, like the, the, you know, throughout the time I get them sent out. And then the last bit, of stuff usually goes out the Friday before my next auction, the bulk of the rest of whatever goes out then. But anyway, um, uh, what else? What else am I missing in the rules? Shipping is separate, obviously, and I do my very best to make sure the shipping is the cheapest possible which is why sometimes it takes a little long because I, sh I, I put things in a box, I weigh it and I'm like, Oh, maybe I could fit that in a different box. It'll be cheaper. Or maybe I'll put it in a flat rate and see how much it is in there. And I try to work it out. So it's the very, very cheapest it can possibly be. So that's why sometimes it can take me like each person. If you know, if you have the one, if they have one thing that they bought, that's easy. But if they bought several different things, it could take me up to an hour to get, pack that one person stuff. And it usually, sometimes it can take two hours because sometimes they have giveaway stuff and I'm trying to like gather that stuff up. And sometimes they have like other things that I'm trying to work out plus their shipping. And so it takes a while. And until I get down into the basement with all this stuff, it's a little more hectic with it up here because up at upstairs, I have three different rooms, four different rooms I'm working out of. I work out of my living room, my bedroom, my office, and my craft room. So I run between the rooms getting stuff, which is also why it takes a while. Um, T. <laughs> Dab. <laughs> Dab. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> what the hell? Um... <laughs> T, T, T's taking care of the, uh, she's on top of it. She's taking care of the, the trolls today. <laughs> Hi, Draven. I like that name. Is that your real name, Draven? That's pretty. Um, hi, Renee. And anybody else that's come in? Hi, Laura. And anybody else? Oh, was... Hi, Vanessa. 
Is there any questions? Am I missing anything, Janie, that you can think of? Oh, if you have sent me your email that, you know, so that you can bid on stuff, usually if you let me know in case I don't know, like I'm going to check now, but if I don't, if I hadn't checked in a while, you could say, hey, I just sent you an email with my information. Um, um, but make sure you put all the information I need in that email, uh, otherwise you won't be able to bid. And make sure you've read the rules, which Janie gave the link to. So, because the e what I need in the email is your, I need your your YouTube name, your legal name, and your street address. Those are the three things I need in order for you to bid. And again, after you win your first item, shoot me a PayPal, pay for that first item, and then for the rest of the night, you can bid whenever you want and just pay the rest of what you owe at the end or before you leave, whatever. Other than that, we are good to go. Anybody have any questions? Hi, Robin. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Els. What are we bidding for? Nothing yet. We're bidding for you. We're putting Laura up on the on the on the uh, on, up for bid. You get a date with Laura. And she might give you a spanking if you're good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, we're just explaining the rules and whatnot. Make sure nobody has any questions. Yep. Laura's a troll. Get her, T. Get her. Just kidding. <laughs> For a good time, call Laura. Yeah, this is her phone number. Her phone number is 555-555-5. Five, 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 three, 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 five. That's for Laura. There you go. Call Laura. <laughs> anywho. Anywho. Call her. Call her. Call her and tech, talk sexy to her. She likes it. <laughs> All right. Let's get some items. Does anybody have any questions? I have a lot of different things in my auction if you've never been here. I have fabric. I have uh, scrapbook stuff. I have random stuff. I have weird stuff. I have whatever. A lot of stuff that you can alter. A lot of fabric. Fabric sample books. I have a wallpaper book today. I have just a lot of weird stuff that we like to use in crafts. Um, we'll start off with some fabric. I have a bag of fabric. Um, what do you call her? Call her. Uh, let's call her Doofus. Call her Doofus. So this is a piece of fabric. I have a lot of, usually the fabric I have is a lot of upholstery fabric. And then I usually have some like, some that's like typical uh, quilting fabric type of stuff. I have all kinds of fabrics usually. This is a piece of... And I never have like proper sizes. I can just basically give you an idea of how big it is. Like this one here is what you're seeing on the screen. Like it's, and then I'm pulling it. So it's like a yard. This is a good yard right here. And it's about this long. <laughs> so I kind of just go, it's like yay long. And you know, sometimes I'll have it folded and I'll go, it's like three times what you're seeing here because it's folded. You know, because if I fold it a couple times, I could say, okay, it's, you know, five or whatever. I don't know. I do the best I can if it's a large piece, but I don't really have, I don't measure everything because I've been here for 25 years trying to measure everything out. And I just ain't got time for that. But most of us are just, we're not using it to make, you know, we're using it as like remnant fabrics to make journals or pillows or stuff like that. So there's that piece. And I've got a big hole in my bag. And then like this would be a good quilting fabric. It's just cotton. And they're like remnant. A lot of them are like remnant pieces or they're like sample fabrics. This one is just like a remnant piece. It's blue with like red flowers in it. And there's two pieces of that. There's one that's about that size. 
And they always have fuzzies and threads all over them because when I get them, they're in like a giant jumble pile of fabric that was donated to the Creative Reuse. Now, sometimes I have fabrics that are vintage, so they might, you know, come from somebody's basement, so they might smell a little musty, you know, but they don't ever smell like smoke because, or they're, they're, you know, they're not ever like covered in a lot of like animal hair or smell weird. If they smell bad, I don't get them. If they're a little musty because they've been sitting in a basement, that doesn't bother me. I expect that sometimes because, I mean, these are donations that people are cleaning out their you know, basements, attics, garages of craft stuff they had, or unfortunately, if somebody dies, their craft stuff all goes, or their collection of stuff, so. So there's two pieces of that. But most of the time, they all, you know, they're fine. Um, if it has, like, a stain on it or something, I'll say, hey, this has got, like, a stain or something. But as far as, like, anything else, you, it's kind of just what you see. You know, and usually they're all in really good condition. I don't think I've never, ever had anybody complain about anything or say like, oh, the fabric you sent me was not what it, you know, not what you said it was, or it didn't look like that or whatever. Usually it's all pretty much fine, but this one's another like good yard. Um, this one, like, it looks like it has something on the, on here, but it's not coming through to the other side. Oh yeah, it is a little bit. So you could probably throw that in the wash or just don't use that section. But, like, usually I, I do notice anything major, but usually, I mean, I mean, it doesn't smell like anything. It's just, I mean, they don't usually. I'd notice it because if it smelled super bad, my nose can pick it up from a mile away. So, I definitely make sure they don't smell like smoke or anything because I don't, you know, appreciate that either, but... You know, I usually would say just run it through the wash if it's, if you're, you know, because you don't, I don't know if it's been sitting in somebody's basement for a year, 10 years, whatever, strings. And then here's another piece of that blue. I didn't realize there was quite a few pieces of that in here. I don't know. I forget what I do. And this is double what you see here because it's still folded over. So it's like it's a pretty decent sized piece. Oh, get off my a small little remnant piece of like a red, dark red color. And then these are all more. Yeah, anytime you see anything on it, it's typically not stains. There are always little threads from the other fabrics. So if you see something, don't think it's a stain. If it's a stain, I would say, oh, it's got this little stain on it, but threads are okay. This one's folded over one, two, three, four times. So it's four times the amount you see here. Okay, thread, thread. Hi, Marina. No, I don't, I don't ever do stinky stuff, but musty, you know, that's the only thing that I don't care about usually because it's, I mean, most of the stuff that, you know, you store is going to get that kind of smell to it and it comes out in the wash, but this doesn't even... None of this even smells musty. It just smells like it's been in a warehouse. You know, that kind of like warehousey smell. Because it is stored kind of in a warehouse, sort of. That place is like a giant warehouse. This is velvet, and it's kind of like a really pretty sage. It's like a sage green color. It looks gray on camera, but it's kind of like a sagey color. It's a light sage color, and it's a pretty big, little over a yard, I'd say. And then about this wide. So, like, is that, was that, I think that's called, considered crushed velvet, this kind, right? Where it's got like that kind of pattern to it. Is that considered crushed velvet, I think? I don't know. It's pretty though. This is what color my walls used to be years ago, was this color. This sage kind of green color. It. My bag has a rip. I gotta fix my bag. I need to use this bag. So I'm going to put a piece of tape 
I'm going to do surgery. I'll take a piece of tape and I'm going to put it across my little bag. I try to reuse my bags for as long as I possibly can because, you know, the environment. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. There we go. That'll work. All right, and then the rest is, there is a piece of this, which is like an upholstery fabric. It's really pretty. Get over here. Get over here. And then I've got some cotton with paisleys. And this one is, what is this? Is that a pillowcase? <gasps> Ooh. Okay, this one might not belong in there. Oh no, it is a pillow sham. No, I don't want this one. There was a pillowcase. I I thought I had, I know I got one pillowcase, but there was another one that I got that I really liked. It wasn't this one though. There was another, I like pillowcases like this, but this is a pillow sham. But the, the material is really pretty on it. It's paisley, but it might match somebody's room too. If it was a standard pillowcase, that was what I like. I like as long as they look like they're in good condition. Like this looks brand new. This thing looks like it's never even been used. But you can use it for the fabric or just use it as a pillow sham. Um, and there's a piece of a remnant like quilting fabric. That's what's here. The rest of the stuff I got here. This one's really pretty. It's got like gold threading around the leaves. Like there's a piece like this that has like, looks like it was dyed or something. Somebody dyed that. What do they call that? Batik? Is that what that's called? No. What is that called? This has got like really pretty flowers. These would be good for embellishments, for quilting. You know, doing stuff like that. There's like another one with trees. Here's some with pumpkins. Here's some with more green with flowers. Here's like some remnant pieces of a and another piece. What used to be a, one of those fabric samples. And some different colored greens and some string. And then there is this piece, which is really pretty. And then there is that piece. Yeah, I usually have put together big bags of stuff. This way you have some variety. Here's another one that has that kind of dyed look to it. I don't know if it is hand dyed or anything. I'm not much of a quilter and I don't know a lot about fabrics, but string, some reds and pinks, a few more. I only assume they're quilting fabrics because a lot of them are in squares. So I assume quilters use a lot of this stuff. And a piece of like maroon color and red with a string. Give me that thread. Get off. That's the worst part is when I'm done with the lot with the auction. I usually have like a half a million threads on my lap. Here's a cool hot pink. Some threads on it as well. Fold it in half here somewhere. I, you know, I didn't, I didn't even get a chance to give my dogs their Christmas presents. Nothing. I didn't get a chance to make the Christmas presents I wanted to make for them. Cause I use things like this, like these remnant type fabrics. I'll take these and like, I'll just grab two of them and I'll cut like either a circle or even a square and I'll put them back to back and then I'll sew them and stick some stuffing in it and close it up and make it into a dog toy. Or a cat toy or whatever. And that's what I do with them. Because I'm not a quilter. So I just do whatever. Or I make journals. Or I make use them for embellishments. Because all I need for embellishments is tiny pieces. This is a another piece of this one here. That's real pretty. 
Stream. Stream. My OCD wants to pick off every little string, and it's really hard for me to not do that. <laughs> to pick off every little thread. This one has purple snowflakes, which is really pretty, and a string. And then it has, let's see, we have purple roses, and then this is like pink with like clouds or something, like almost like a cloud look. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Little red remnant piece. This one's really pretty. That's really pretty. I should have kept a piece of that for my foot. Oh, there's more. Red and white stripes. These are like remnant remnants of different sizes. Here's a purple one. This one is like that with threads all over it. Purples. And another purple one with some like, oh, is that Christmas trees? Little gold Christmas trees. Oh, a green one. So if you, you know, if you aren't into, you don't have a big stash of fabric and you want to get started with some fabric crafts, all different kinds, and this is a good way to do it because I usually have a lot, you know, bags of stuff with different types of fabrics and stuff to make journals with. It's, you know, this one has like, well, it looks like stones, but they have like metallic or glitter on them. You see the glitter on them? That would be a pretty journal cover. And this one. And then there's a piece of that, which has some cheetah print looking stuff on it. And there is a fall piece with some gourds and pumpkins. Stuff for every occasion. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. And this one's like a coral color with little flowers on it. And lastly, well, there's a piece of yellow. Well, it's just a little piece of yellow in there. And lastly, we've got this piece here, which is really nice, kind of an Asian-inspired. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That would make a pretty journal cover. That would make a nice little journal cover right there. I did that and kept put that one on the cover and made the cover like that. With that on it would be pretty. Anyway, oh, and there's a little cheetah. It could be another one. You can make two journal covers out of it. <laughs> anyway, we will start the bidding at a dollar. Please don't chat in the chat while the bidding is going on. So if you see people putting numbers in, wait to chat until after Janie says stop. But when she says start, that means you start bidding and it starts at a dollar. Johnny, you seem confused. Why am I doing this? I do this because this is how I am able to survive and live in my house. <laughs> it helps me be able to stay in my house because I have illnesses and stuff that prevent me from being able to well, I had a business years ago, but because I got cancer and then after that my Crohn's got really bad and <clears throat> and I have arthritis and fibromyalgia, so I can't do the same things I used to do. So this is how I make a living. I'm able to have auctions and get people some craft items. And that is it. That and my classes with my Patreon and my Zibit store and everything all collectively helps me be able to survive. Survive! So Sharon's got it at $5 so far with 30 seconds left. 
start packing it up. Big giant pile of yummy fabric. Amanda jumped in with six dollars. Sharon, you got it at seven dollars. Thank you, Miss Sharon. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Thank you, Miss Sharon. And we will have giveaways, and we'll do our first giveaway at six PM. We have giveaways throughout the night that is open to anybody. We also have giveaways for anybody that buys anything. If you buy anything, you'll be entered to win. Um, we'll do, uh, you'll be entered to win a sun catcher that you get to tell me what colors you want um, and stuff like that. And anybody that buys anything will be in, in, entered in that drawing. Anybody that shares my link to my, shares the link to the, live stream and on Facebook and tags me, make sure you have to tag me. You'll be entered in, a, in another giveaway um, to win. Um, for that we can do, we can also do a, a, a sun catcher and, or we can, you know, I have other things too. If you don't want a sun catcher, I can do uh, different things. Um, but yes, we do several giveaways and then just regular giveaways throughout the night will do all right okay so now i have i have a lot of books and such this is um a little journaly thing it says we have we have this hope as an anchor for the soul. And this is Hebrews 619. It's a religious -y type of stuff. But it's got um, like different, what are they called? Scriptures? I don't know. I'm not religious, so I don't know. But yeah, like different little scripture thingies. And it's just a whole really pretty, pretty paper journal with like pretty beach backgrounds and all kinds of background paper. And it's a nice journal. Um, you can use it as like a notes journal if you do like Bible stuff, you know, like I, I, I know people do Bible journaling, but some people use it, you know, for that reason. It came from Ross. And then there's also a, it has like a copper finish on it and it has another journal, a notebook. And then we have this one that says, keep Tennessee beautiful. And it has post-it notes, which I did that because I was testing the pen. Pen works. <laughs> and it's got pages, and it's got flags, and regular post-it notes. Little book. This one here is still in the package. I didn't even open it. But it's got... Ooh, pretty. It's got pretty paper in it. So there's that one. You can turn these into journal, uh, you know, like journal journals by collaging them. Okay, that's not going back in the package. <laughs> Too much of a pain in the butt. Binder. This binder has vintage paper in it. It's vintage lined paper, actually. You can tell by looking at it that it's quite got that kind of tea stain to it. So this is probably, you know, from the 80s, 70s, 60s, who knows, but it's kind of cool that it's got that kind of tea stain. You could put it in a journal or something, but the binder is kind of nice because it's a it says social security. Um, but the binder is kind of nice because you can cover it with something and it's a nice size. It's not real big. And make it into a journal. And then I've got a bag of cards. 
that are interesting. Well, these are bookmarks, actually. These are little, like a bookmark thing, cranes. There's a bunch of them in here. You can use them for what they are or use the pictures out of them. Then there's some of these cool um, black and white kind of cards, different things. Um, some of them are blank. Some of them have something about birth, you know, birthdays. They're all different kinds in here. Um, you can use them for, you can make your own cards with them and just cover up, you know, use them as blank cards, cover them up or use them as cards as they are. This is a happy birthday card. It's a happy birthday in different languages. And it says, wishing you one bright moment after another. Here's another friend. This one's for friend, like a friend's card or something, or maybe for like significant other. It says, just craving something sweet today. And it says, that would be you. And there's several of these as well. And they were $3.50. Get the hell out of here. Um, so there's several of those. There's this one. This says, God is love, yada, yada, yada. Religious Happy Valentine's Day card. This one's cute. It's Father's Day, and it's supposed to be like that. It's like as if it's like a Batman. I don't know. It's supposed to look worn, like a Batman comic book cover, I guess. Because that's like all that's supposed to be like that. But then on the inside, it says, even if it's just hanging around the man cave. It's, he's Batman in his bat cave. Somebody can use that for Father's Day. Here's another card that's in the package. Here's one with cute little cows on it. It's some sort of probably a blank. Yeah, a lot of these are blank. There's one with flowers, one with strawberries. It's an envelope that's real pretty with the matching card. Same here. You can use these for cards or journals like I put together those Christmas journals that were done with cards. Birds, polar bear, happy birthday, puppy dog, some stickers, some birds. Look at that, the envelope. The flap to the envelope looks like it's kind of weird. Birds, cute birds, owls. And what the hell are they? What kind of birds are they? An Atlantic puffin. Look at its beak. Isn't that funny looking? Some envelopes to go with those. Another card. These are cool, these cards here. They come from Women for Women International. They're all blank inside. And they have these cute little envelopes with um, butterflies. I don't know if that's for those cards or not, but they're cute anyway. Yeah, I guess they are for those. Yeah, there's cards in all of these that are birds with the person so there's a bunch of those different ones little envelopes and little puppies and more little puppies <laughs> cat pulling a mouse in a car and it says, for God's sakes, think. Why is, he, why is he being so nice to you? <laughs> Funny. I think there's a couple of those. Yeah. All these are like that. Good nature. Nature cards. This is from the Arbor Day Foundation. And then we got some birds. And that one's pretty. Just a note. One. 
Okay, so all that, we will start it off at a dollar. Whenever you're ready, Janie, we'll start at a dollar. And... Stick them. Remember, no chatting during the bidding, please. Please. It's raining out like crazy. place miss genie you got it for seven awesome Miss Jeannie. Whoa. Oops, I almost dropped them all. They landed on my lap. Congrats, Miss Jeannie. Hi, Sherry. Did everybody have a good Christmas? Whoa, I almost fell over. Hi, Janet. Thank you for my cards and stuff. I, um, I, where you were in the chat, right? I don't remember. Thank you for my cards. It was very sweet of you to send me a happy mail. Ouch. 
Oh, and that reminds me, Barbara, were you the one that sent this stuff here? And the stuff from a cherry on top? Was that you, Barbara? What am I drinking? Sprite. Diet Sprite. Um. Oh, because there was no name, no nothing. Thank you, Miss Barbara. She sent me some this cool pink mica powder stuff, which is really pretty. And this glamour dust, which Oh, I see it's glitter. For a second I thought it was like a paint, but it's like really pretty glitter. Which won't show up. There we go. And two glitter dusters, which I'm very excited for because now I don't have to keep taking everything out of the one I have and switching them around. Thank you, Miss Barbara. I was like, where did these come from? And what's weird is I first thought, like, I thought to myself, did I order these like a long time ago? Maybe they just now came in. And then I realized, no, if I ordered something, they wouldn't have taken that long to come in. <laughs> I was going to, because I kept saying I was going to order more of these. That's what threw me off. And I'm like, did I order them and not realize it? And they just took forever to get here. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I didn't. Because I was like, I didn't order. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't have thought to order this stuff. But thank you, Miss Barbara. That was very sweet. And I know you said something about there was other, something else coming. Yeah, we talked about the Glamour Dust, too. That's true. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I mean. I got the paper. I showed the paper the night of the other night. Oh, wait. There was another one that came, right? Yeah, because I got the one paper, and I got this st that stuff separately, and then I got the paper yesterday. And that's when I was like, okay, this has got to be all from Barbara. Did I get your holiday card? I have a card that I haven't opened. I don't know if it's, let me see if it's from you, Gail. Because otherwise I might not have gotten it yet. I have one card up here that now might be lost on my desk. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's you. I got it. Yesterday I got it and brought it in. It was in the mailbox yesterday, but I was on my way out. So I hadn't opened it yet. So I'll open that. When everybody starts bidding on the next thing, I'll open that. Thank you, Miss Gail. Yeah, I just threw my mail on my desk because I had to leave because I had an appointment to get my tire fixed. And then when I got back, by the time I got home, it was late. Um, all right, so I've got a big thing and there's some blue, regular, like a blue lace. And then there is a big thing of like, oh, there's more blue lace in here too. And then there's that same color, but there's I guess I think somebody took maybe some of this lace out of there. No, it's different lace. Never mind. Um, like I thought maybe they cut out that part, but there's this, which is like a blue and a pink ruffly lace. And there's a big old wad of it. There's a bunch of it here and then there's more here. So there's a ton of lace. And then there is this one, which is blue and white or blue and cream colored. And that's on he on that board. Then there is this here, which is some sort of like, I think somebody sewed it and they were trying to do something with it, but it's like, it's sewed like into a V and then it's sewed into a V again and then again. So, I mean, you could just use the pieces off of it. I don't know what they were trying to do. And then there is some tassel trim. A big thing of tassely trim. And that is a couple yards of that. At least about two yards of that, probably. And then there is also this big rope trim stuff. I guess it goes this way. <laughs> Gotta undo it. It's stuck to itself. And turn it around here. Maybe it got stuck to the back. As a piece of goes all the way. Anyway, about a yard. Yeah. And then there's another piece in here of the same stuff. This one's a little shorter, about a little more than half a yard. 
three quarters maybe. So there's two pieces of that. So for that whole lot, we will start it off at a dollar whenever you're ready, Miss Janie. Hi, Paula. I'm going to open Miss Gail's card. I made a little gnome Santa Claus. Look how cute. That's cute. Please bring greetings. Ooh, there's stickers. And including some snow. Oh, she sent me snowflake stickers. Oh, that's cute. Thank you, Gail. Oh, these are cute. <laughs> little, little clear snowflake stickers. Cute. Thank you, Miss Gail. That was very sweet of you. Less than 30 seconds left. And this genie's got $8 up for bid. Oh, and there's this thing here. I forgot to throw that in. Um, it's a little applique of a cross thing. So, there's that. Miss Genie got it at $10. Congrats, Miss Genie. We've got a lot of lace and trims. And my stomach is growling. Leave me alone. After this, we'll do the uh, we'll do the giveaway. So here I've got some little uh, cross stitch kits. This one's uh, it says a true friend. It's got two teddy bears on it, and it's it's already done. I think that part is, but the background's not done, and it has the, the stuff in it. There's a thread in there and a needle to finish that. There's this one here, which is really cute. Little red-haired girl holding a bunny. All the stuff is in there for that. There is a ladybug on a leaf, and there's all the stuff in there for that, including all the threads and everything. And there is this, which is just a bag of, this one's really pretty. I almost kept this myself so I can finish it, because all it needs is the, like, it doesn't really need anything, honestly, but um, it's pretty much done. It just needs, like, a frame to put it in. But it could do like a really light blue, like a pale, pale light blue for the sky where the clouds are around that. And, you know, really that's all it really needs. I like it's got two little cows. It's cute. It's like a whole little farm. It's so cute. So that just needs a frame, really. Then there is this, which 
Looks like it had some tape or something around the edge, but you don't need to worry about the edge. It's the inside. It already was started with some purple, but it says grandmothers are mothers with a lot of practice. So you just basically follow the little X's with the embroidery floss of some kind. And so there's that one. There's one in here that also needs to get finished. Which has the pattern and this here it says home is where the heart is and it has just needs to be finished in there um it's got the stuff to do it this one is <laughs> this one somebody made it says diet i'll start monday and there's a little dog looking up Already, I think it's already just done. This one's not done. That's just a picture of it. But the stuff and the, everything's in there. This is one with yarn. This is a little latch hook starter kit thing. It's got like a lion and it has the yarn and everything. I don't know. I don't feel the latch hook cook thing in there. But you can get those all over the place for like super cheap. I don't see it and I don't feel it in here. But they have those all over. You can get them for like a dollar. Here's a little one that says Home Sweet Home. This one's finished too. It just needs to be put in the little frame thing and the bow needs to be put on it. It's not on it right now, but. And here's a one of those uh, canvas things. Huh. That's one of those things. Remember from the 80s, you put your t shirt in one, in one end and pull it out the other? <laughs> Here I've got two baby shirts that are somebody started putting the patch on it um, because I guess this is our baby onesies and it's got the needle for it but like this is a little like a quilted patch and all it needs is to be finished sewed on, sewed on or I don't know what you do with it but there's one there and one there it needs something I guess And then we've got some cross stitch uh, fabric. There's a big long piece here and a piece here brand new. And I believe, yeah, that's it. That's everything. Oh, wait. What's that? Oh, no, that's not anything. It's in the middle. Okay. And that's it. So we'll start this off at a dollar. Whenever you're ready, Miss Jamie. that did that freehand oh no maybe not there's a pattern in there oh it's open here oh there is a pattern oh I see there is look at that I thought maybe they just freehanded it because I guess it's supposed to look like somebody hand wrote it or something that's cute just needs to be trimmed up and taken care of cute Cute. Oh, it needs its little heart in the middle. There's the red thread in there. It needs a little heart. You gotta give the puppy his heart. Give the puppy his heart. <laughs> Thirty seconds left on the clock. Put that in the bag.
Miss Jeannie got it for three dollars. Did I get stickers in the cherry on top? Yes. They are, they came in a separate package than that, though. They're out in the kitchen because I got those yesterday. Um, before I left the house. Uh, let's see. Where's the kids? So I didn't, I was trying to call you last night when I was in the car to ask if that's what you sent. Um, but I guess you were already in bed. Why did I put Jeannie? Yeah, Jeannie did win that, right? Yeah, you did. Okay, for a second I thought Amanda won it and I forgot that you bid $3 on it. I'm a losing my brains. can't you're you're I don't know what you're saying if you're talking to me say it all in one sentence because all I see is box for hardest and something else but I couldn't understand what you're talking about and also if there's anything important you need to tell me don't tell me in a live stream because I won't remember um tell me in a message unless it's regarding like this right now I mean um I, I, I'm not sure what you're telling me Tell me again. I don't know what you're saying. Do you have a box going to care? Yes, I have a box, an open box that I got stuff. Was it you, Jeannie, that gave me stuff for that last time? But yes, I have a box I'm sending out to her on um, Monday because I finally have it full, almost full, pretty much full. So that's going out to her on Monday. Because was it you that you gave me stuff the last auction to get to her? I think that stuff is what just about filled it up almost. So why do you ask? You want you want me to put this in? Okay, I will put this in. Um Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you, Miss Jean. That was very sweet. I will send that to the carpet. Put that up in my chair. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. All right. All right. I have a bag of fun trims in here. These are like, oh, that's the, the string that you need to pull to get it all to wild out on, a, on us. It's like these little foofy trims and such. They were, uh, what do you call it? They were like attached to a, as like a sample thing. So they were, they have like hot glue on the very back of them, but obviously you were just going to end up gluing it down to something anyway. So, you know, these are cute for like the bottom of a tag in a card or on the front of a card or whatever. There's little just trim, trim pieces that you can use for your smaller projects trim like with little tassely dudes and little fringe oh that's just a piece of fabric uh here's another one you might want to wet wet the tassels that are like 
bent, you wet them and kind of, you know, put a piece of tape around, like washi tape, hold them down straight, put washi tape and then they'll straighten back out again. Because some of them are a little wonkified. But there's a whole bunch of pieces of different trims and such. Here's a piece of vinyl. You can use it to stamp with because it's got a cool thing. Some tassels. More tassels. More tassels. More tassels. There's like a rope tassel. More little doodads, doodads, a piece of purple doodad, and some green doodad, and some got a little piping kind of trim, little stringy dingies. Anyway, you get the drift. There's a whole bag of them, and all different little tassely dudes. You can make a little art doll and use these as like a skirt for your little doll. Or like if you have a, you know, one that you're doing on, on an art page or something, you can just glue this onto it to give it a little three dimension, make a little skirt. So anyway, we'll start this at a dollar for this bag of goodies to play with. Whenever you're ready, Janie. And no chatting during bidding, please. I'm going to write that down. All right. I will be right back. I'm going to run out and grab something real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I went and grabbed some cookies because my, my ass is hungry. My stomach's growling. Chocolate chip. Rebecca! You got it for six, Rebecca. Congrats. 
You can't have my cookies. Okay, I have a fabric sample book and it has some various patterny colors and it has some teal, really pretty soft, lots of soft fabrics in this one. So, there's a couple pieces taken out here and there, but most of them are soft and this one's like pink. This is like a red, reddish background with like a hot pink. It's hard to tell, but on camera, my camera likes to make everything look weird colors. And it's red, and like an orange, another orange, and like a, a lime green. And here's like a gray, like patterned one, soft, green, and gray, and green, and more gray. And then it's got like this bright teal in here really pretty and green vines there that's like a dark gray that one is like a maroon color it's hard to see on camera it almost looks black when I laid it like that um, hey stop that that's like a maroon color there's maroon vines little vines going up some more maroons and the red. These are all soft. They're all like very soft. They have that velvet stuff on them, I guess, kind of like a velvety stuff. There's a teal color, another like sagey color, another one with vines on it. Blue, let's see, gray stripes, and vines, and like a taupe color, tans, browns, fuzzies, dark brown, dark blue, and dark blue there, and that's like a tan color, orange, a dark orange, dark orange stripes, dark orange, reddish orange, getting into the reds, and the reds. So anyway, we'll start that off at a dollar. Get all the fuzzies off my desk. Oh yeah, giveaway time. Let's do this first and then I'll do the giveaway because I gotta go grab the giveaway stuff anyway. Thanks for reminding me, Janie. So we'll do this first, start it at a dollar and then we'll, I'll go get the giveaway stuff because I forgot. See, that's why I need somebody to tell me because I'll forget. But since I already showed this, we'll do that first. I gotta go get the giveaway stuff. Stuff fell out of my closet, but. Yeah, no chatting during bidding, please. Don't even just shush. Good Lord. When you see Janie say go, that means no talking.
Hi, Tina. Sharon, you got it, Miss Sharon. Congrats, Miss Sharon. Mm. All right, and we will do the giveaway. Yeah, it's like, it's, yeah, it's like taking apart a wallpaper book. Very same, like, almost exactly the same thing. Bye, Missy. Didn't you just get here? Miss Janie. You won this book. It's called the Nursery Rhyme Book. It's a cute little book. You can use it for making journals and stuff because it's got each page has got a different little nursery rhyme on it. And they've got these cute little pictures. Isn't that cute? Brand new, cute book. Congrats, Miss Jane. Okay, there we go. All right, next up, I have a bag of lace again but this time it's big lace pieces like lace curtains tablecloths something like that or late just lace lots of it big piece of this one's really big and it's really long so i think it was like a curtain of some sort um yeah because here's the top of it so it's some like a, like a vintage lace curtain and on the bottom Oh, it says two lace drapes, 100 by 94. They had a press on it apparently, but is there two here? Let me see. I don't think so. I think there's just one here. I'm not sure because there's other ones, but it's not the same. And there's this one here, which is another really big piece of, you know, lace. Really pretty flowers on it. There's a big wad of that. Oh, this one has the staining on it. There's a little tea staining on it for you. <laughs> you can either cut it off or whatever. It's the only place it has it on there. Something must have gone on it. But it's already tea stained for you, so why not? And this one has a little bit of that too on the bottom of it here on this piece. But I think that was that and right here a little bit. But I think that's the only two pieces that had anything on them. And you can cut off those pieces or obviously wash it. I'm sure they'd come out. And this one's got like a scalloped edge on the bottom. Otherwise, it's white and cream color except for that right there. The tea staining on there and there. Just a couple spots that's got it. Otherwise, it's white. And then... The other piece 
is this one and I don't think this has anything on it at all yeah this is another lace curtain this one's folded up so it's double what you see here because it's folded and it gets longer so there's this one so there's four pieces all together five four four there's that big piece there and then there's that one and that one and that one so we'll start the bidding at a dollar <clears throat> I don't know where I put the bag. JC Penny Home Collection. <laughs> are dry. My hands have lost all their beautiful supple skin and it's all now dry scaly skin. <laughs> it's called old hand syndrome. <laughs> Old yucky hands. All right, let's try to shove this back in the bag somehow. Get in there. Get in there, pokey. Get in there. That's my idea of folding, it's like this. <laughs> it's folded. <laughs> Miss Karen, you got it for 12. Get in. Squish your ass in the bag. Not that it's going to stay good. Hi, Kennedy. You got a pink glue gun? Sweet. And a glue gun holder? Oh, that's awesome. All right. Okay. All right, I've got another fabric sample book. This one has some 
part is in it. Some pretty patterns. It's got a neck one and a striped one and a dark. Oh wait, I passed one up. Um, some flowers on it and it's got that geometric pattern. It's got some coral on it and it's got that one which is real pretty. Some yellow with coral. Oops. And it's got light and some stripes. Some flowers. Stripes. Some more flowers. Birds. All right. We'll start this off at a dollar. One dollar. Fabric or paper? This is fabric. Fabric. Not paper. It would make pretty paper. Mm -hmm. It sure would. All right, no, no chatting during the bidding, please. You can scan it and then print it and make it into paper. <laughs> pretty. I like the coral ones. They're really pretty. Hmm. I like that one too. That one's cute too. I'm not into stripes though. Stripes aren't my thing. I know a lot of people like stripes. I don't. Barbara, you got it, Miss Barbara. Miss Barbara got it.
Oh, are they? Oh, that's interesting. Mm, you can make some accessories for your kitchen. That would be cute. All right, so we've got some fabric. This is a really pretty fabric. Waverly screen print. And it says, oh, that's why it's taped. It's one and a quarter yards. Um, and get the tape off. Here, it's masking tape, so. One and a quarter yards, and it's taped together, so obviously it hasn't, it's still one and a quarter yards. So I'll leave that like that. Here's another one. That's really nice. I've got fuzz on it. This one is a deep, pretty big size. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sixteen times the size you see here because it's a pretty big there's a lot of layers in there So it's 16 times the size of what you're seeing here. I'm not going to undo the whole thing, but it's a big piece Like the size of a queen fitted flat sheet. I mean kind of like that size It's like a blue With like a darker blue flower in it Good cotton fabric and there's this one, which is also pretty big. This one is, oh, here we go. It's got a label on it. Two and seven eighths yards, and it's $57. <laughs> Obviously, we are not charging $57, but it was 50, why so expensive? Good Lord, well, fabric's expensive, so. And they stapled this one. What do you need to do that for, dummy? But, yeah, so that's, a $57 piece of fabric there <laughs> and there is this piece here which I can't see the pattern because they folded it inside out here, it's this it's a pretty big piece and it's got little flowers and little peaches and vegetables and grapes and little thing and it's several yards I don't know how many but it's a pretty big piece there so you get all of those and the price is right I'm just kidding so four large pieces of fabric and we'll start the bidding at a dollar Take my dang medicine. This is probably designer fabric? No, I don't know, probably, but the designer are just fancy. Fancy fabric for whatever reason. People like their fancy fabrics. It looks like chintz. I don't know what chintz is. I'm not a fabric aficionado. So I don't know what chintz is. I don't know what it what it's supposed to be. But you can tell me afterwards. You can tell me afterwards what it is. 
Laura's going to get it for a dollar, though. A whole lot of fabric. Yeah, then I guess that's what it is. Miss Tammy, you got it, Miss Tammy. Tammy got it out of steel for two bucks. Oh, you did? Oh, I'm sorry. It's Barbara's then. I'm sorry. I didn't see that. Oh, I'm sorry. You did. Barbara. Barbara gets it for 10 bucks. Sorry, Tammy. Sorry. I mean, sorry, Barbara. Sorry, everybody. I didn't see that. Because other people bid after that. That's why we're not supposed to chat during the bidding. Because <laughs> I can't see. I think Nightbot was the one that was chatting too. Nightbot. It's his fault. He did it. Let's spank his ass. Spank his dirty ass. Who was it that he was doing something in their chat? When was that? Was that during the sweater thing? Where he was like talking and saying like weird things? Sorry, Miss Tammy. That was like in somebody's chat, Nightbot was saying like weird stuff. And I didn't see any of the weird stuff that he was saying, but. Oh, Robin and Kelly's. That's right. I thought it was so weird. I, I just heard about it, but I didn't see what he was saying. All right, so here I've got a set of stuff. This is like a wedding stickers, really cute, like fabric-y stickers for wedding. And then here's some little sayings that'll be for a wedding. There's only one missing our anniversary and wedding. Really pretty stickers. Here's um, a bunch of sheet protectors, a 50 pack of sheet protectors. Like eight and a half by 11 sheet protectors. And then this is a whole mom mamby kit with wedding stuff related, all wedding related doodads in there. Stickers, papers, little die cuts. Um, here's a Project Life 12 by 12 pack of the sheet protectors, page protectors. And then there is a scrapbook and this one as well. So you can like finish it with this, but it's got, this has got all kinds of like stickers in it. And stuff and then it's got like the scrapbook where you can put for a wedding you know and it's got like this is like popped up really really pretty so if you know somebody that's getting married this would be a great set you can give them and there's a whole kit in there to finish pages more 
stuff to add more pages to it. And then some stickers and then just some sheet protectors. Where those other stickers go flying? Oh, there they are right there. I thought maybe they went flying. So some extra stickers. So it's a whole set of goodies for doing like a wedding scrapbook. And no chatting during the bidding now. And one dollar, we'll start it with Miss Janie. You got your wedding scrapbook. Basically a wedding scrapbook kit. You can make a pretty, a pretty wedding book for somebody. I like these stickers are cute in here. Pretty papers in here too though. Papers and goodies. I want to see the stickers. Oh, I'm going to take the whole thing out of here because I'll never get it back in the plastic again if I have to do that. I just wanted to look at the paper, but I can't. Oh, and there's like die cuts back here, like flourishes and stuff. There's paper, all different paper and stuff. Cool. Cute. Ugh, it started to rip already. I hate these plastic bags. Why do they even make them? They're useless. Once you take it out and the whole thing like rips and it gets like crappy. Stupid. Very stupid. All right, 30 seconds left. A wedding scrapping book kit. Let's get these in here if we don't get messy. And some page protectors for protecting your pages. Your secret, top secret pages. Miss Paula, you got it. Oh, no, you didn't. Sorry. Tina. I thought I didn't see the stop. Tina, you got it. I look up and everything changed. Miss Tina got it. She got it with $6. Okay, now I have there's some vinyl pieces here. This one's got fuzzy all over it, and you could paint over it or something. It's got a couple of marks on it, but it's a piece of vinyl. You could paint over it and make a journal cover with it. You can do like mixed media mashup and make a cover out of it and paint on it. And then there's a piece of this, which is like a puffy kind of uh, stuff. I don't know what it is, but it's like, mm, what is it? I don't know. I don't know, but it's like 
puffy. And there's that piece, and there's that piece. And then there's two gray pieces of vinyl, that faux leather. They look like fake leather. And then there is a whole wad of fake leather. A big old box of it. There is four times what you see here. So you can make a whole bunch of leather looking journals. Oh, whoops. Get over there. Big ol' big ol' big ol' wad. The link for the rules Nightbot puts it out, so you just gotta scroll up till you find the one with the rules, but I'll get it for you. Hold on. He comes around every now and again with the rules. Yeah, it's up here on the thing here. There you go. It is post. Oh, Janie posted it too. So we both posted it for you. So we got these here and that one and this big old wad of fake leather. And we will start it at a dollar whenever you're ready, Miss Janie. Start the bidding at one dollar. With our fake or faux leather. All right, Miss Barbara got in with $15 out of the gate. So if you want it, you'd have to bid more than that, at least $16. some stuff over so I can get to it. No chatting during the bidding, please. No chatting, no chatting. Miss Barbara, you got it for 20. when Janie says stop. So if you don't see a stop, then don't chat in the chat. Or I will beat your butt. Hi, Mark. Ow. Ooh, okay, so this is a tile making kit. Oops, I had it upside down. Put your picture on a fresco tile. Turn it upside down. 
There's your instructions. But it doesn't have, it has these in here, which I don't know if that's what it was supposed to be. No, see, oh, because you're supposed to put the stuff on. Never mind. I thought it was like a ceramic tile, but it's actually a large wood, right? And then you have your little things you can hang it with. Um, but what you do is you cover it in the, the stuff, the mud, they call it. It's like, ooh, it's mud, all right. Oh, neat. That stuff's weird. It feels neat. Ooh, it like, ooh, that smells good too. I was like, what's that smell? It smells kind of good. Now I gotta clean my finger off because I stuck it in the mud. And I got it places too. So, you put the mud on the thing, and then, what's this? I don't know what this is. Something. Oh, that's like an antique glaze. So you put the antiquing glaze on. I don't know, it has the instructions. And then there's like this cloth stuff. It's like a really nice, it's actually a really nice gauze. And you got this, then you got this, the medium, the, yep. The, what do you call it, medium? The, the photo stuff medium and you got crackle and you got your brushes and you oh this is for oh you can stand it up I get it so you put this stick in the back and then you can stand it up I thought that was holes for um whatever hanging but you use the stick to stand it up is there only one stick well there's one stick so oh there's well you could probably break that off and use it yep you sure can <laughs> just break off the thing and use that when you're done because that other stick must be gone I guess I don't see it in here but anyway put it you, you smooth out your picture you know you do the transfer that's what I was trying to say the damn freaking transfer photo transfer yeah it tells you how to do it you do all the things all the steps Fun project. Oh, and it gives you sandpaper to like smooth it out with and all the things. What is this? These are some sort of paper. I don't know what that glossy paper is for, but I'm sure it says it in the instructions. Anyway. Alright. How much what? These all are up for bid. So, we will start this off at a dollar. Whenever you're ready, Janie, and no chatting during the bidding. Wait until after you see the word stop, please. Decorative tile making kit. cute oh I get it you don't it's not for transferring I get it you make it look like it's a transfer by putting the picture on and then putting the mud around it kind of like texture paste or whatever and it puts makes like that plaster look and then you can you know you put your picture on you glaze it and you do all the things and then you put your mud around it so it looks like the paper or the photo is kind of ripped oh interesting okay that's pretty cool Make your own fresco tiles. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. That would be fun to play with. Fresco! Yeah, this would be cute for you to do with um, your granddaughter's pictures. Wouldn't that be really cute? That would be cute for her to do. 
Colleen. That would be adorable. Gonna get it. Pauline, you got it for three bucks. Pinched my hair. It pinched me. Not fair. Mm. These pinchy things. Mm. All right. Now we've got some fabric. This one. This is a little pot holder somebody made. It's cute. <laughs> somebody made a pot holder. All right, we got a lot of quilty fabrics in here. We got some orange with pokey dots. Orange with pokey dots. And then we've got, a, oh, another piece of that blue with the flowers. I didn't realize there was more of that. And then we've got a navy blue with polka dots. This is a pretty big, long stretch of fabric because it's long and long. Oh, there's two of them. There's that big one there. And then that big long one there. I can't, I can't fold. My arms hurt. <laughs> after, after lugging everything yesterday, my arms are just killing me. A random piece of teal with butterflies. There's a couple pieces of this. There is that piece. There is that piece. And there is. And there is a that piece. Upside down. And then there is another piece. Some good remnant fabrics to play with. Make cute little embellishments, journals, quilts, what have you. And then there's a bunch of pieces of this as well, which is really cute. Look at this. I have a piece of this for myself. I just saved one little piece that I wanted to make a journal out of, but isn't that cute? Actually, two little pieces. One of them was like that big, and the other one was like that big because there's a bunch of it here. But yeah, it's got these. It's that, what is it called? I can never say it right. T O I L L E. Isn't that how it's set, uh, spelled? Toil? But it's called Twal or something? I don't know. It's weird. No W in the damn thing, but they call it Twal. I'll give you a Twal. It's got, you know, obviously it's been, it's remnants of it, but it's still got some really awesome, you know, just even just to cut these out to use on like things like that would be a good piece to like cut out and sew onto a journal cover or like this lady here or like these little flower bits. Like there's all kinds of cool stuff on these. That's why I like it. Yes, I know it's French, but it still don't mean it makes any sense. But. That's cute, a little kid with the sheep and the sheep dog. And then there's like a little flower thing there and like a branch there. It's like all these can be individual little appliques you can take off and put them on other things. This one here. There's 
little sheep dude again. Sheep duder. Another one. And as, now we get into a few bigger pieces that are here. There's this one. This one with the building and the lady. That would be a good journal cover piece too. End pieces there. Dropped my bag. Get over here. Mm. And there's another bigger piece there. Upside down. This little dude playing a French horn. <laughs> Another piece. This one's a big one too. Nice big one. And lastly, there's another piece. I still have more fabric. There's some other fabrics in the bag. So you get several pieces of that to play with. Oh, wait. Nope. I lied. There's another piece of it. Oh. Keep falling on the floor. There's a little piece here. See, like this in itself could be used. Like this piece. I love twall. Twiddle my twall. Here is Paisley's with purple. It looks blue on my camera, but it's purple. Like purple, purple. Purple, purple. And that's purple, purple. It's got like blue in there. Oh, you can't see how pretty that actually is, though. It's like purple with like a teal going through it. And there's this piece, which is like a scenery. No, is this the one with the scenery? No, kind of. No, I don't know. Plants. This one's like just plant things, not really scenery. There was one with like a scenery too, I think. Yeah, I think so. And then there is this one, which is like a, almost like a tie-dye. And a floral. And little, little roses or heart roses, heart flowers, whatever they are. And there's those right there. And there's this thread. And there's that one there. This one's like light blue with stars. And there's this one, which is just a remnant piece. I think that's... And then we've got some more. These are like quilt fabric squares. Some more purple. Come here. There's two of these pinks. But they're stuck together and they've got strings and fuzz all over them. There we go. Pink, pink. There's another one of these, which is purple and pink. Really pretty. This is that big. Get off there, string. And there's a long strip of that one fabric that was under there somewhere. And got more here. We got some blue and whites. There's two pieces here stuck together. And then there's a piece here. Stupid threads. Blue and white. It's like blue, oh, white, blue with white butterflies. Butterflies. This is blue with clouds. Hi, Tanya. Blue and clouds. And this is blue with dragonflies. On it there. Little dragonfly dudes. And this is blue with these little corally looking plant things. I don't know. More blue with butterflies. This is pretty. Blue with palm leaves. And this is folded in half, but this is like a, a light denim color. There's two pieces here. There's some 
blue with threads all over it, but you get the drift. It's like a flowery pattern or something. I don't know. Don't know. That one's got a cool pattern. Let's get out of here, thread. And this one's got like a almost like a cloud look to it too. And this one is clouds with stars. And this one's clouds. Somebody was making a cloud with rain and stars quilt of some sort. And there's green, what looks like little flowers in there. Like a light pale green. And there's this piece, which is roses or whatever, pink flowers and fuzz. Blue with pink flowers. And then we've got a fabric sample of yellow with Got a few more pieces. Oh, and more of this stuff too. There's a lot of that in there. And another piece of the orange with the polka dots. Orange with the polka dots. Polka dots. And what's this? Oh, that's cute. Yellow with strawberries. Oh, strawberries. You need more of this stuff. I didn't realize that was in there. So we can start the bidding at a dollar on this giant lot of yummy remnants. Oh yeah. Oh, these pieces were not that. They're different. They were this one. But they match. They match it really well, actually. And there's another one here. That one. And there's this one. Don't just stand around blowing the horn. Get to work. Everybody else is working except you. Who you think you are, dude? With your little French horn. Poop head. Oh yeah, there's this one with the blue. It's like a long strip of blue stuff. <laughs> blue stuff. And then lastly, there's that piece. So yeah, lots of goodies. Now I'm covered in fuzz. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Okay. You thought it was a violin? No, it's a French horn. Because this is French. Toil. Toil. Toilet. I almost said, I almost said a bad word. I started with TW. <laughs> so, Karen's got $3 on it so far. That's a good deal on all these fun fabrics. <clears throat> and I have videos showing how to make a lot of fabric embellishments and things that you don't even have to sew. So even if you don't sew, having fabric is a lot of fun to make fun embellishments. I'll show you what I mean actually because I found them yesterday over here. I found all my little embellishments that I made. When I was cleaning up last night, I found my little fabric embellishments. I make stuff like this. It's a combination, like there's a little thing and like, and you use like different layers of fabric and it's stuff like this. You take it and you layer it. Here's one here. Um, is that all I have left? I might have given the rest away already. Oh, here's a little one. But you can just take the littlest pieces of fabric, take a little eyelash trim, there's eyelash trim. Take your little doodads and you cut, you know, you cut the designs out and they can be your focal point. You know what I mean? Here's some that I use to make paper clips. This is just a piece of fabric, a piece of that trim. You know that trim that I had in the other thing? That's little pieces of trim like that is what you use to do all that stuff. But I mean, look, you could take strips of it and make all different color little tassels. All these cute little boho tassels. And that's what you, you take, like strips of all this type of fabric, you know, cut strips out of it. Oh yeah, remember when I did these, the plaster? 
these came out cool. This plaster. Oh, I forgot about those. Dang it. I love those. I need to make more of those. Oh, yeah, and the little boho feathers. Where you took, I took it and stamped on the feathers and made a little bow. I forgot about those. Anyway. Anyway, these are the type of doodads I use this type of fabric for. It's perfect for that type of stuff. And I have videos how to do it and everything. And it's so easy. You don't have to sew. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. I just use hot glue. What do you mean you can't? You can too, Laura. Watch any one of my videos. You can do it. It's so easy. If you can make a, if you can cut a square out of some fabric, you can make those. <laughs> They're not hard. They're so easy. All right. But having lots of different like colors, that's good for like the tassels and, and stuff. Cause then you have like all different colors and they look very boho-y. Let's see, Miss uh, Miss Christine. Miss Christine, you got it. No, wait, sorry, Karen, sorry. I looked up again and I was like, no, wait, Karen got six in it, six dollars in it um, first. That's what I was trying to say. So Miss Karen, you got it for six dollars. Well, yeah. Do it and follow what I do in my video. That's all. Follow it. I guarantee you, you'll do just fine. Do exactly what I do in my video and you'll do just fine. Don't say you can't do it. You can do it. But sometimes, you know, if you don't do it right the very first time, giving up is not the answer. It's practice and keep doing it until it gets better. But, you know, sometimes it takes more than one time to do something. All right, so this is a Wonder Knitter and it has this stuff where you can make those like necklaces. I don't know if you could see that. Will it focus? It should be the name of the game. Will it focus? No, it won't. I don't know, but those are those little necklaces that have like the, I don't know, it'll make jewelry, it makes little thingies, it's like a little knitter thing. And then there's another one, and this one is the flower loom, and this helps you make little flowers out of yarn and stuff, and ribbon. You can make like little, um, like crocheted looking flowers and stuff, like that. Here's some rhinestones. This is a random bag of stuff. There is some stencils with some shapes. And some flowers. And some more shapes. And some more shapes. And some more shapes. There is a stamp. That says... I don't know why, but it says handwriting assessments, keys to legibility. <laughs> I don't know why it says that, but it could be a good background stamp for just making, you know, like a little thingy and it gives like a score thing. I don't know why, but anyway, make a background stamp anyway. And then there's a set of foam stamps in here, little animals like, well, there's a person, a heart, a dog, a cat, a fish, a butterfly. And then there's a little travel art set that has 
watercolor paints that seriously need to be cleaned off because whoever used them just mixed everything together. And then there's some markers. I don't know if they work. Let me write on here. Eh, that one didn't work so well. Let's see if this one works. Yeah, that one works fine. We got colored pencils, markers, crayons, pastels, and watercolors. Let's see. Oh, that one don't work so well. It's like every other one works well. But um, mostly what is that? What is that? Is that a piece of chalk? No, I don't know what that is. I don't know, but whoever had this made sure did make a mess out of taking the paint and smearing it. Probably a little kid. And the pastels are stuck in there. Yeah, I don't know who had it, but they made a mess of the package on it. I can't get it back in. Oh, there we go. Anyway, you can give it to a kid you have or something. We'll start this off at a dollar. Some fun things to play with. Okay. Oh, and there's a paintbrush. I forgot the paintbrush. Oh, there's a couple things I forgot. There was an ink pad that actually works and then there was some more stamps i forgot they were in the bag and they fell on the floor they fell on the floor a little paint brush and a kitty and a puppy and they come apart you can break that apart if you want to if you want to miss jamie Congrats, Miss Jeannie. You don't want the art set? Okay. I could take it out and put it in the I can put it in the care heart thing. Take the what I do is take the pastels out, the crayons and the colored pencils out, and put them in the thing because that's really the best part out of there anyway that works best. And I'll put them in the care heart box. How's that sound? So there'll be a set of colored pencils, pastels, and crayons. And I'll put them in the bag. Who doesn't feel good? Oh, 
Who doesn't feel good? Oh, Aaron. Oh, I'm sorry, Aaron. I hope you feel better. this fabric here that has teddy bears all over it get off fuzzy fuzzy book it's a large piece of fabric with would you like a piece of fuzz it's actually this is this is the um there was that stupid teddy bear head thing there they had at the crater reuse and some guy was walking around with it but the hair was like falling off of it <laughs> everywhere on all the fabric and I was like get away because I didn't want to have to pick it all off of everything you know it was like a fuzzy head or whatever like like a costume head that's what it, I'm trying to think of and it had like that weird fuzzy hair stuff on it and it kept flying everywhere because he was like messing around with it and I was like please stop getting it all over the fabric but anyway oh man there is a thread hanging on me right now that's driving me nuts go away thread so there's a big piece of fabric with teddy bears it's a thin it's a thin fabric I don't know what it would be for but um it's like a, a very thin fabric but there's a lot of it it's just a thinner fabric then there's this fabric which is like it looks like a it, well I think it was a piece of clothing or something but it's kind of cool with the owls on it I like it owls on it it was like a shirt or something because it has seams on it this has some of that fuzz from that stupid thing too yeah see look it's got the stupid freaking that stupid head see here's more of it look those little fuzzy bits and they were like on everything here's more fuzzy bits annoying I tried picking it off of everything but it got on everything anyway there is another piece owls oh this one's cute this one's Mickey Mouse birthday kind of <laughs> little birthday hats Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck it's like a a weird shaped piece and it's got that piece and it's got this piece hanging off of it on the one end and then there's this really big piece of sheer fabric which is really pretty it's blue with these like lavender flowers and there's a lot of it here so I'm not gonna try to open it up but there's a crap ton of it let's just call it that there's a lot here it is very pretty and sheer and I'm dropping things all over the floor trying to get it straightened out oh care you were asking who care what care heart is she does she has a um, the disabled artist foundation it's a it's a nonprofit that she runs that helps give craft supplies to people who can't afford it, who are on disability and stuff. Um, so she takes donations of like craft supplies, financial donations. And I do a, a I do an auction once a month for her and get, all the money goes to um, her foundation so that she can send uh supplies to people oh and then there was this one here i forgot about that one 
it's like a little scarf type of thing. Pink. All right, we'll start these off at a dollar whenever you're ready, Janie. And it's not nice of me. I'm not the one who's buying the stuff and putting, you know, paying for the stuff that it's those people who are, who are, you know, paying and buying stuff that are the nice ones. All I'm doing is sitting here showing it, accepting the money and then sending it to her and sending the stuff out. That's not, you know, no big deal. Anybody can do that. And anybody should do that. If anybody ever has a channel and wants to do one of those auctions for to benefit her, you can let me know or let her know. I can help you out if you need it. some pretty curtains with these. I like that blue color. That's really pretty. Alrighty. And then we'll do another giveaway. Give it away. After this, we will do the giveaway. No, I don't do that. No. Thirty seconds. Get you a steal on some fabrics. No steal on the fabrics. Mm -hmm. All right, then. They're mine. Oh, mine. <laughs> All right. We will put them up another time. Or I will... Oh, man. Get off me, fuzz. I don't want the fuzz on me. All right, I have... Some. I have some. I have a whole bag of goodies. Oh, let me do the let me do the thing first. Let me do the giveaway before I forget, because that would not be good. Because I don't want to forget. And I have Miss Karen. I have some cool retro MTV buttons and some sun catchers that you can paint. And the paintable sun catchers. Let me put this inside of here. Uh, so that then I can just close it up somewhat. Piece of fuzz. Okay. All right. Now, anyway, I have some. stuff in here. These are little wooden cross necklaces. Somebody must, it looks like somebody made them. There's a whole bunch of them. So there's this cherry wood. These are pretty. And that kind of like a walnut stain. So a bunch of those in a bag. 
Ooh. Bunches. Bunches of those. Okay, and then there is some pearls, a string, a big string of pearls. You can use these when you're making your embellishments or your things. You can put them on different things for your vintage stuff. There is some googly eyes, blue googly eyes. There is these glass heart beads, There's black ones, red ones, and clear ones. There is these wooden earring things in here, like wood beads and stuff and such. There's like a pair of earrings in there. There is these buttons that look like trees, logs. I don't know. They're like gold plastic buttons that look like something. There is some doodads here that are these cute, these beads on here are really cute. Somebody made these little bead dangly things out of these pins, but obviously you can take the beads off and make something more fun. But at the bottom, there's a little ceramic angel bead. It's like a little ceramic angel bead. And this one has like, like a little, almost like a, like a faux rosary. Cause I don't think rosaries are that small, but it's got like an, a, a stretch, a little bit of a stretch to it. I don't know. Maybe it is a rosary. I don't know how big they are. I thought they were smaller. I mean, bigger. And there's, more of these this one has a heart a really pretty like glass heart lamp work bead on there and this one's got another little angel at the bottom another lamp work bead there some cool looking beads and then there's like a like a cross thing in there so cool you can make all kinds of stuff with that And there's some little green beads in there. There's a few seashells at the seashore. There's some navy blue and black beads in there. There it is. Oh, it's tangled. Tangled. Um, wooden beads and there's a bunch of stars in there too and I was like look all star confetti glitters but there's a whole bunch of wooden beads in there a whole bag a whole bag and then there's this piece of jewelry like a vintage piece of jewelry from like probably 70s or whatever and it's an, an earring but the little beat the thing came out of the center so you, you can glue it back in there like that use that for your mixed media or whatnot. Here's some buttons and um, beads. Here's some square rhinestones. Cute little square rhinestones. Here is a couple of rings, key rings that are like a vintage brass. And then there are these which are, they have a loop on top and they're like little circle-y things. You can use them to make embellishments out of these and make things out of them. It'd be cute, like little ornaments or something. You can make little dream catchers and stuff out of them. All right, and that's it for that bag. We will start everything, start this stuff off at a dollar whenever Janie is ready. Some doodads, doodads and dingbats. I thought those little angel beads were really cute, but I didn't feel like taking the whole thing apart just for that. So they're really cute, little ceramic angels. Cute, cutie cuties. <laughs> yeah, I'll be doing a video next week about how to make your own UV oven. I talked about that in a couple live streams. 
Um, and then we're going to work with some resin crafts. Um, I got all kinds of stuff we're going to be making. Some fun UV resin stuff that we're going to make. Looks like Joy. You got it, Miss Joy. For 17. Congrats, Miss Joy. fabric sample book. Good night, Angela. This has a blue and white kind of woven fabric. It's really nice. And it has a red one. And it has this one, which is like a velvet. Really pretty. And it's mostly all blue and white and a little bit of, I guess, blue and white and green and white, I think. Oh, no, there's other colors in there. I, th I thought it was mostly blue. Ooh, soft. Soft. I love the soft ones, fuzzies, that one's pretty teal, that one's another woven, woven-y one, soft, and another woven one, oh that's a cool one, like a honeycomb pattern, cool, 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 fuzzy. Soft. Ooh, that one's got like silver in the middle of it. Another honeycomb. Pretty soft. It's got green and like a gray. And it's got green and teal. And then another light teal. And then another green and teal. I guess they are mostly, well, there's some corally orange colors back there. Teal and green. And a little green color. A green honeycomb in between. Like a corally color. That's like an orangey color. It's pretty. That's like a corally orangey color. And orange. Very cool. We will start this off at one dollar and I'm going to run to the potty while you guys are bidding. No chatting during the bidding or Janie will spank you with her whip. She has a whip. <laughs> I'll be right back.
Okay, no chatting during the bidding. I said that before I left. No, and when I walk away and say don't chat during the bidding, that doesn't mean get smart assy and say chat, chat, chat. <laughs> Smart asses. What do I do with my paper? I lost my papers. Paper? Oh, paper. Hi, Destinary. You won, Miss Destinary. Ouch. Um, dawn that's it took me a minute I was like sitting here rolling around in my head going uh, uh, d -d 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 -d. I knew it started with a D What did you do? You How much was it? Oh, God. All right. Okay. All right, I almost forgot about my things. Okay, I have, we're not gonna do an auction on this, okay? This will just be for sale. I have four exactly identical, except for the bottom stone is different on, there's two different bottom stones, but I have a crystal kit. And this one is, I'm not going to take the whole thing apart, but I'll show you the crystals that are in it because I wrapped them in bubble wrap because I'm running out of bags right now. I have to get more of the little, little ones I have. But they're all clear stones, rainbow. Rainbow stones. They look like this. There is a red one, an orange one, a yellow one, a green one, a blue one, an indigo, and a purple not the clear ones in between there's just the just the colored ones so you get the purple the indigo the blue the green the yellow the orange and the red so it's a it's a rainbow it's a it's a smaller rainbow sun catcher um so it's just got the stones you need to do the rainbow and then on the bottom it has one of these And then all the kits are the same except for the bottom stone in two of them, which I have to wrap that. The only reason I didn't wrap that is to show you it first, but I got to wrap it in bubble wrap as well. And then the other bottom stone is like a, like a diamond shape or something. I don't know what they call that. So there's one with that stone there's, and there's whoa, two with that stone and two with that stone. So I'll just do them all the same. And so I'm going to do these for $12 each, okay? And how we work it is, Janie, not yet, but when she says go, if you want one for $12, and it's a kid, has the jump rings, the little the little doodad thing, it has and has all your crystals, and you just put them together with the jump rings and put your thing on the end and put your little clip that you hold it with at the top. But when she says go, you'll say me. And the first four people that say me get it for $12 a piece and they'll it won't be obviously this long because this is like a big long sun catcher but it'll be like that long without the top thing but like as if you had the you know I think seven I think there's seven crystals and then the bottom you know you've seen my rainbow ones before chakra rainbow skittles whatever you want to call it <laughs> 
I just had to keep them wrapped because I didn't want them in a bag because I'm running out of little bags. I don't have any little bags left. So whenever Janie says go, oh, did you say go already, Janie? I don't think she said go yet. So go ahead and say go. And every time you say me, that means you want one. And I will take it down. Ow, my back. All right, it looks like we have four peoples. I can actually do more. So if there's more that want them, obviously I can make more up. These are just what I made up right before the live stream. So obviously it actually doesn't matter if there's more than four because I can do it. So. so I'll just take anybody that says me, I can make one four for 12 bucks plus shipping, obviously. So it doesn't matter. I just realized I'm like, why did I say that? Because I got plenty of rainbow stuff in to make more rainbows. So anybody that says me, you got one. Um, looks like we got Rome. Oh, that's good, Rome, because <laughs> I had something else to send you that was a winning thing that you won. And when I sent you the presents, I never sent it to you. And I don't know why. It was sitting right there and I forgot it. So I'll send that with your thing. I'll put it here. And I saw it the other day. And I'm like, damn it. I already sent her a thing. Because I ain't smart. Okay. So Rome got one. Let's see. Esther. You're Esther Thompson, right? Yeah. Esther Thompson got one. I'll put what they are in a minute. First I'll get everybody's name. And Sandy wants one. And Pauline and Laura and Cindy and Jill. Um, Jill, did you send me your information as per the rules? You probably did. I just didn't see it. Uh, I don't see it. Um, maybe not. Let me know if you did or not. If not, you'll have to send me your info and check out the rules, please. Oh, Janie just posted the rules. Um, let's see. Let me write everybody down on here. Okay, that's fine. All right, so these four I can just actually put right on here. Because those four are done. Um, Sandy, did you already get something? No, that was Sharon.
And I'm also going to be taking orders for new stuff I have um, for sun catchers because I've got like this is a shorter, like just a rainbow sun catcher, but I, I'm going to be making longer ones. Um, and I'll be taking orders for those today where I, I'm going to be doing for $25. You can, I'll make whatever you want. I can either make it or give you everything to make it and make it a kit, but either way it's 25 bucks, whether I make it or you make it, you can do it however you want. If you enjoy making it, which some people do, um, get it like that but I have them um, they'll be much longer obviously they'll be and you can tell me whatever color you want and the it, you get like a top charm with that and then you get one of the regular like the spear um, thingies if you want certain different things it might be more than that but if you just want the typical it has a top charm and it has a like a, a bottom rainbow making clear doodad then it's just the 25 if you want like one of the like if you want something like this where it's got like this one in the middle it's got like a bigger one in the middle and it's got like one of the fancier ones on the bottom then it'll be more but if you just want the charm and then your your regular you know any color you want of these and then a bigger one at the bottom but not this specific style it'll either be like the little, you know, the icicle ones, the spear ones, or it'll be like one of the pendaloke ones that's just bigger, like one of those type, but bigger, or one of these other ones, but bigger, then that's the 25 for that. Because, but you can upgrade if you want or whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, what do I do with these? Okay, yeah, that goes there, and this goes here. Where is it? Who's the first four people that gave me the thing? Did I lose it? Rome. Oh, Rome and then Jill. I already got Jill down, didn't I? No. Okay. That's why I was missing a person. I'll stick all these since I have a box for you. Yours and I have a box for you. So I'll stick those because they're done. The other ones I'll do tomorrow. Um, okay, let's go over here because I'm going to attach them to the doohickey. I don't really need them, but everything's on here. Okay, anybody else want one for 12? Yeah, I have more. Do you want one, Karen? Yeah, I have as many as you want because I got a bunch of new rainbow stuff in. That's what I was waiting for before I packed and sent your thing up, Karen. Remember I said I was waiting for a shipment of more stuff? Um... But what I didn't do is you, um, you wanted another rainbow, didn't you? Did I, get, I don't know, look in your box and tell me if you wanted more than what I gave you in your box. But yeah, these are going to be 12 if you want one of these kind. Karen, do you want one of these? You... So you don't want this then, Esther? You want one of the $25 ones? Because I can make you one of the $25 ones. That's fine. Do you want it as a kit? I could still make it rainbow if you want it with just crystals in between each one, the clear or the AB crystals in between. You'll let me know. Just let me know what colors you want. Okay, well then this one will just be one of the others that got that one. You want a kit? Okay, I'll put a kit on here. Kit. And you can tell me what colors you want on it. Uh, I'll put... You can just tell me in a message because I'll have to put it together later anyway what you want on it so okay Karen wants one of these then I'll stick this on hers then what are we up to oh the number
All right. Well, this is just for the rainbow ones. Um, if you want something else, let me know. Um, cause for that, I'd have to see, you know, what I have for all that, for something different. So these I'm not like this, I'm just doing rainbow ones right now. So this is just for rainbows and then, but I can see like, if you want, if you want, I can do, because it has purple on it, obviously. It has a purple on it already. But if you want some, if you want like a purple sun catcher, um, you can let me know and I'll, just message me. It's easier that way. Just message me because right now I'm not going to, um, I'll just put or a question mark and I'll deal with all that later. Just message me because it's easier. Ow, 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 my mouth hurts. I've got like, I always get like every, I don't know, every couple days I get like a chapped lip kind of. And it like, is a pain in my butt. Yes, I'm here. I think you're just behind. All right. But after... At the end of the auction, I'm going to go over all the stuff I have. And if you want to order one of those, oh, I could probably put this one up. I was going to put this one up for sale here. This one is good. This one is $35. Um, if anybody's interested. Um, and I have enough to make exactly two that are exactly like this. So if two people wanted it, because I only have two of these, I have more of these, so I could put something different on the bottom, but I only have two of the flowers. Um, but these two pieces are like not cheap. Cause anything you get, anytime you get out of the ordinary with these crystals, they get pricier for some reason. It's annoying. Um, So if anybody is interested, what I can do is have, if anybody's interested, just say that you're interested and I'll, you know, I can, this one will be 35. This one will have like double, you'll get double rainbows out of it because this one will give off rainbows and that one. But this one has like a flower in the center of it. It's like, uh, it's got that flower. I don't know if you, I don't know if it, there you go. You can kind of see it on camera. See how it's got the flower petals on it? That's why I put that on there. You want all right? So Esther and Rome. How about I do that? I'll make I'll make another one because, like I said, I have enough to make another one exactly like this. So Esther and Rome. Do you each want one? And I'll do this one. And that's what you want then, Esther. Instead of the twenty five dollar one, you want one like this. I don't know. Karen, I don't know what you're talking about. You ha Yours is $12, and that's what you wanted, right? You wanted the $12 one. That would be the thing. Refresh. Tell her to refresh. She's a wee flesh. Okay. So, Rome, do you still want your other one? Your kit? Or do you just want one of these? I only have two that are exactly like this. I can make it I can make more that are like this, but I'd have to put something else on the bottom. I have like other things, lots of other things I could put on the bottom, but the, I only have two that have flowers because that's the sun. And then you got like the flower or sun crystal. I think they call it either a sun or a flower crystal because of that the little points in it. And then there's a flower. I thought that went together pretty well with the rainbow. Get it? Rainbow, sun, flowers. That's why I did that one. Okay, so Esther wants this one. I'll put this on her tingy. But this one's already made. It's not a kit, Esther. Well, I can make it a kit, actually. Because I can give Rome this one and then give you the other one with all the stuff to make it. 
So it's up to you. Do you want me to make it a kit? Karen, I have you down for a rainbow kit. You got it. Okay, so Rome, you want both. Okay, the kit and that. And it's up to you, Esther, if you want the, um, she wants the, I know she wants the, the rainbow, uh, with the clear in between and the sun and the flower. Okay, so she wants that one for 35. Okay, I'll make it then. Okay, and then Rome. So that'll be number 18. Where did I put that? I put it up here. I'll change it. I'll, I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to add to it that it's the 35 one and it's the one I made. Okay, and then Rome. That's the same. Oh, one of you will get this one. Sun, rainbow, clear, flower. Yeah. Wow. Alright, so I'll put I'll just throw Rome's name on this one and then I'll say make same for Esther. So this way I can remember and if I don't keep detail, I'll be like, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> my, my lovely memory. Failing memory. Okay. It's funny because when I was doing the crystals for everybody, if I wrote everything down, you know, in detail, but there were a couple people I hadn't written everything down because I was either waiting for them or they told me and either I didn't write it down or I thought I had already had it. And I just, there was like a couple people I had to keep, I went back not once, but twice and said, wait, what did you order again? And I, and one of them said, I said it in the message above and I didn't even scroll up and I was like, oh yeah, you did say it in the message above. Or like the other one, I, she told me in the chat or something and I didn't even remember what, what it was. my brain but after the if you're around after the live after the after I'm done with the auction like around 10 30 ish um before I even get off of here I'm gonna get out my crystal stuff and show everybody the new stuff that I got I got a whole bunch of new charms first of all I got fairies I got all the suns back in stock with the round sun with the one with the hole in the middle I got seahorses, peacocks, different peacocks than the one I had before. I have uh, mermaids, maybe, I think. I got a new mermaid in. I don't remember. Oh, sea turtles. I got turtles. What would be cute is if I did like one of the big seahorses, did some of the crystals, and then did a turtle, and then did some, and then did a mermaid, and then did the, the one at the bottom, the, the drop at the bottom. So I was gonna make one of those at some point. But I think that would be really pretty, too. Anyway, back to the auction stuff. Let's see. I have some. Still going, still going? What's still going? Still going, still going. Huh? What's still going? Oh, the auction. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, huh? Alright, I have some trim. Oh, really? She likes sea turtles? I like sea turtles, too. So, I got some ropey dopies trim. There's one big long 
piece so you can do like around an ottoman or pillows or however and then there's a couple of smaller pieces there's that one and this well this one's pretty long too but so there's those two but wait there's more there's a gigantic thing of this like cr really cream colored one you could probably dye this too but i don't know where the start is here it is it's got there's bunches of this in here and then there's another piece there's some smaller pieces that's the longest piece and then there's this piece which has got like a smaller kind of narrower top to it and that there's that one this one's got like a like a little bit of a fringy top to it there's that piece there's another piece with the top like the other one that. There's that one which is different because it's got like this weird like, top on it yeah, they're all like different except for a couple of these like this one's like the first one i think yeah that one's like that one and there's that one which is shorter another one like that more there lots of <laughs> lots of fluffy rope now this isn't bedspread fringe this is any kind of fringe people put this on their ottomans pillows it's not just beds i've never seen a bedspread with this type of tr trim on it not a bedspread not this not a rope not a, not the rope kind i've seen ottomans and like furniture pieces and like benches and stuff like that but anyway we'll start this at a dollar green threads off of it whenever you're ready janie the other papers that i'll have here You can put it in your car and you can like line your car with it can you imagine <laughs> the whole inside of your car just lined with fringe line all your seats line your windows <laughs> with all fringe <laughs> but i've years ago i made it i took an ottoman and redid it and i took stuff like this and did the whole outside it was a different color and did like the whole outside of it and it looks really cute you can do pillows with it staple it to the cat it looks like oh i could staple it to winnie to give her some added fur since she lost all her fur because i had to cut it off i can add this to her and it'll keep her warm This would be cute on my desk, actually. I can like put it along my desk. I can go along the edge of my desk. It would get dirty real fast because my desk is an art. I could put it along that one cabinet I have over there, that shelf thing. That would be cute. Anyway, you could stick it anywhere. Miss Laura, it looks like you're going to get a for a steal. You're going to get lots of it. You're gonna fringe it up. I'm just gonna fringe everything in our house. Oh, oh, Miss Christine's coming in for the steal. She's stealing it. She's Christine's gonna fringe. Oh, Laura's back to it. <laughs> oh, Laura got it for six bucks. Laura's gonna fringe the hell out of her house. And everybody in it. Watch out, people. She's coming for you. She's got six bucks worth of fringe and she knows how to use it. <laughs> oh. 
But this came right from somebody's, uh, some company, I would imagine, because they usually have a bunch of samples from the, from the company that, and I, I believe it's the same company that gives away, I guess, gives the creative reuse, donate stuff to them, because I've seen the samples of most of these. Um, they have like these panels that they have for samples, I guess, for when they put them in the store or whatever. And I'm imagining these were just leftover stock that they had. Alright, put these two together. Accidentally tape two pieces together. Doi. Oh, it's so nice without all that Christmas stuff in here. I was able to move stuff around. Get that cabinet out from behind me. I don't feel so claustrophobic doing my auctions. Still claustrophobic, but not as. Yeah, turn your cat into a poodle. Just hot glue the, the trim right to your cat. Turn it into a poodle. We all know that poodles are better than cats. I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. We got some fabric. This has like a... I don't know. Looks like embroidery of some sort or something. We got that. Ooh, there was another piece of this with like a color that matches my living room. And I got I got a bunch of those frames because that's another thing I'm doing in January is the frames. When I talked about this before, all these little fabric samples and the fabric out of the fabric sample books that I have. I'm going to be make, showing you how you can make artwork with it. I've been wanting to do it for a while, but I haven't had time. But I've planned it so that I'm going to be doing the UV resin at the beginning of January. And then I'm going to be doing a video on how to make artwork where you, that you can hang on your wall. So if you got like um, the fabric pieces that are matching of your decor, I guess. I'm going to show how you can take like an old frame and put it in the frame, which anybody can do that, but, and then like put something on it that'll be like a little bit of a focal piece. So we're going to do that type of stuff. So here's a couple of them. And then I got two of them that were, because this is like the aesthetic of my living room, kind of this almost like retro geometric pattern, but in like teals and orange. And then I've got a kind of a boho eclectic thing going on. But I love this style, this like little, I like that for Christmas ornaments too. But yeah, so I'm gonna use the pieces I got for that because it goes with what I'm, my living room. But like these whole pieces, and I'm gonna show how you can make a pillow out of these because if you notice, every one of these fabric samples is completely finished all the way around the edge. So this is just, literally sewn on here if you take it off it'll just come right off um it's just sewn on the edges there and i'm going to show how you can make a pillow by taking this and taking any color backing fabric like you can get that color cream color you know teal whatever and make a pillow really easy just a quick and easy sewn pillow out of these fabric samples that are like perfectly square and some of them are like even bigger to make like floor pillows out of or dog pillows like this again all the edges are already sewn so yeah this is like got like a velvet on it I'm 
This piece is cool. I like this one a lot. So I've got like a real dark orange in it. It's got a couple of pieces here that are just like other samples. But you can just take the stitches out and it'll come right off because it's obviously just stitched right here on there. And then you have this big piece here, which is like really soft. And a couple little pieces. What happened, Sandy? This piece, which looks like, this piece looks like, um, you know, when your TV has that static, this is what that reminds me of. <laughs> it's cool. It's like black and white with like that static -y look. Hey, get off there. This one's got some grommets in it. To get enough of these, you can make like a cool hanging panel curtain because you can overlap it and weave the, like a rope through it and hang it up if you had a bunch of these that were like similar colors. Because even these would all go together. They're all neutrals or a teal and green. I could do that for like my kitchen. That would be cool for like my kitchen window. Do something like that. Because I always find the ones like this, you know? I think that would be a cool funky curtain. Lulu is missing again? Please tell me you had her fixed already. It's been how long? Woman, I'm telling you. You need to have the damn cat fixed. <laughs> I hope she comes home. Oh, she'll come home because they always do. She'll come home. They know where they get fed. Cats wander. They wander when they want to go get pregnant is what they wander to do. This one has two samples on it too. side it's got like that silky look to it and then it's got these two pieces at the bottom that are not pretty pattern Sandy, I told you already, take her down to the Humane Society. They will do it for like free or like 50 bucks. That's all you got to do is go contact and see if they have a rover or the thing from the Humane Society. They'll do it. They will do it. But if she's not fixed, stop letting her get outside. So she could stop getting pregnant because that's going to cost more than 50 bucks to have to raise kittens and then get rid of like a third batch of kittens. <laughs> this one's pretty because it's like green with flowers on it. I like that one. That one's really pretty. It looks like it's dark green or like a weird green, but it's actually like a lime green. Pretty. I think that's everything. Okay, that's everything in that bag. So, whenever you're, whenever you're ready, the Humane Society is, is, will do it for free. If you call them and say that you can't afford to get your cat fixed, they will do it. Because they're a non-profit, so they don't, they're not going to rip you off. Yeah, you call around and ask, and there are there are ways to get it done. Right. 
Okay, no chatting. You, Laura, you got, yeah, you got the fringe trim, that fringe trim for $6. Yes, ma'am, that is what you got. And yeah, friends and family, if you PayPal me, just do it through friends and family, please, because it's, otherwise it charges. <clears throat> String, string everywhere. String in my underwear. <laughs> All right, so far, Christine, she came in with five dollar, five dollar, five dollar, five dollar foot long. Oh, I was like, which batch is this? That's just a piece of black and gray. Let me move some of this out of the way. Miss Christine, you got it, Miss Christine. that say yearbook and sports and art and honors and whatnot and this cute little scrapbook doohickey that has like it's like three-dimensional in there it's like a little shadow box in there little school days and then in here this little thing here if you twist it you can put it back into the little holes because it just came untwisted so you just, I can do it. You just twist each one. I'm not going to do it right now. But all you do is twist each one back into the little binding. Just twist it in. Because it came out. But this is, it's got like all the stuff in here. Oh, and there's these that fell out. Get over here. Because it, they came out. Whoever did binded this did not pinch it closed so once you get it back in the thing if you just take it and pinch these clothes with your fingers it'll close i don't know why people don't do that you just take it with your finger it's not stiff or anything 
You just take it with your finger. I keep going to drop that on the floor. Oh, yeah, this way. And there's like things to adapt, attach your school, your kids' um, school pictures and stuff. And there's all the grades, I guess. I think it starts with fourth or fifth, fourth grade? Fourth? Yeah. Third grade, fourth grade, something like that. Yeah, see, all these are have to be put back into the thing here. Anyway, you know what I mean. Like that. And then pinched it. Pinched it. And this has a bunch of stickers. And a bunch of stickers on there. This has, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is some sort of bag or sleeve or something with elephants on it. Somebody made it into a tube with tape for some reason. Don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And then also I have some page protectors, a whole packet of them. And then this, a memory book, which has papers in it that you can use. So like you could do like mix me a mashup every week and then take your watercolor paper you know, first take one of these papers out, cut it to size, cut your watercolor paper to the same size as this, and then when you're done, you could slip your mixed media mashup in every week and have it in a sleeve in a book. Something like that, or just art in general, not some be mixed media mashup. Be any kind of art. And you can even write like you can write down each week that you do it and stuff like that if you wanted to. All right, we'll start this little scrapbook doohickey stuff out at a dollar. What? A pink poodle? What are you talking about? PayPal is, if, as long as you put my email in that says pinkpoodlecrafts at gmail.com, that's me. Just use my email. Just go to your PayPal and then put my email in. Pinkpoodlecrafts at gmail.com. You don't have to physically go and see my PayPal. Just as long as you email it to the right, or as long as you use the email, pinkpoodlecrafts at gmail.com, which is up it's in the, it's in the, um, it's in the rules. It'll have a link to my email. Just cut and paste my email into the thing to send the PayPal. It doesn't, lowercase or uppercase doesn't matter. And it's not a pink poodle. So Janie said, nope, a pink poodle. It's not a pink poodle. It's just pink poodle crafts at gmail.com. Just put that in where it says who to send the money to. No, no snap. No, none of that. Just PayPal. to see what it was, Miss Laura. I'm going to stick these in here so that they don't get lost. Actually, you know what? I'll, yeah, I'll stick them. The stickers I'll stick in there so that they don't get lost. 
Laura, you got it for five dollars. What do you mean, what'd you get? You got scrapbook stuff? What do you mean, what'd you get? How do you not know what you got? You just watched me show it. <laughs> Are you all on crack or something? Are you on crack? Because if you on crack, I'm going to send you to rehab. She done, she done on that. She done on the crack. She on the crack. Oh, you went for a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> and you didn't give me one? Did you bring us back a Dr. Pepper? She's mean. She a mean one. That's what I'm looking for. Alright. I have a wallpaper book. The wallpapers. Okay. Laura, when you sign into PayPal, okay? Are you hopefully you're here cuz I I already explained all this, but apparently you are not here. When you sign into PayPal, go to where it says send money and then just put my email address in. You don't need to have, there doesn't need to be a picture. Just put my email address in and that's all you have to do. Pink poodle crafts at gmail.com. Cut and paste my, my email right here that I just put in pink poodle crafts at gmail.com. Either type that in or cut and paste it and put it in where you send money. Not you, Laura. The other Laura. Laura Kai. She's the one that's having a problem. Not you. She's having a problem. I don't know how, but she is. I don't know what site she's on, but... I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure out where she's seeing anything different than that. Why is PayPal being a pain in my ass? Okay. Let's see if I can do it this way. See, look, look, look. Here's your, your, your PayPal. You sign into PayPal. You go up here to where it says tools. Are you watching? Tools. Send money. Right? You go to send money. And then you just put my email address in. Right here. You put in pinkpoodlecrafts at gmail.com. And then the button will come up and you put hit next. Okay? Does that make sense? <sighs> Laura. Different Laura. Not Laura Free. I'm talking to Laura Kai. Right, but it doesn't matter what my PayPal has. Just put in my email and it'll go to me. As long as you put in my correct email, that's all you need to know. You don't need to worry about what's on the thing. And I don't even know what the picture I have. I think it's just a pink poodle. But as long as you put in my email, it'll go to me. No, Rebecca, that's different, Laura. There's two Lauras in here. There's Laura Kai, and then there's one-legged witchy woman, which is a different Laura. Laura Kai knows what she has, but she's... I'm trying to help her. Just hit, just go to send money. Because I don't know where my other thing is. Um, I don't know how to 
to do it with the other thing. I just, I don't know. This stupid thing never wants to tell me. Mm. I hate PayPal the way it's set up drives me nuts. Or here, I finally found it, what I was looking for, here. Or if in doubt, which I couldn't find this for like the last 10 freaking minutes, click on that link or cut and paste it into your browser, what I just put in there. I don't know if it'll come up as a clickable link, but cut and paste that into your browser, that'll go right to my PayPal. And then just put in the amount you wanna pay. All right. I have a wallpaper book. I'm going to flip through it very quickly because we've seen one of these before because I've had several of them. And it has wallpaper borders, which are really pretty and they look like they're painted. And then it's got, it's very like, you know, cutesy. What do they call this? Uh, like Americana um, folk art type of stuff. And there's this border and there's this like light tree background pre-pasted scrubbable peelable solid vinyl wall covering whatever you say oh yeah there's this one did you did you see the link that i posted laura Grab that link, highlight it, copy it, paste it into the browser. And Sandy, you paid me twice. For crying out loud, do you not know how to use PayPal? <laughs> how do you pay me twice? Good Lord, people. I swear to God. I should keep that second payment for you being a pain in my butt. Let me see. Well, it says there's $12. Is that what you... Is that what you're... Is that all you're getting from me tonight, Sandy? Is this the one thing? Yeah, you only paid me once. I only have one payment from you, Sandy. I don't have two. Just one. So if it... It didn't, if it, if you're thinking you paid me twice, it only went through one on my end. So double check. I only see one from you. I'm going to fire them all. Firing everybody. You're fired. Go home. You're drunk. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Anywho. I think everybody's got the the flakies today. Their brain is flaking out on them. Abort! Abort! <laughs> Laura's PayPal's wigging out on her. She, she don't know whether she's got she, whether she's coming or going. I'm assuming she's. If you're using PayPal on the phone or like a tablet, it's. A, don't even bother. It's a pain in the ass. Alright. Cute little fishing theme. <laughs> Your screen won't stay in live mode? What is it? What do you mean it won't stay in live mode? What does that mean? Huh? Marg thinks she's the only normal one. <laughs> ah. That's funny. None of us are normal here. We've all... There ain't nothing normal about us poodles. That's for damn sure. We've all lost our damn rocker. Half of us are forgetting how to use PayPal. 
don't leave us to our own devices because pff, within a month we'll have our electric will all be shut off, we'll have no food, our house will be getting taken away, and our car will be repossessed because we don't know what the hell we're doing. One month to the next. Oh, I like the little hearts. That's cute. I didn't even see that. There's blue and there's red. I didn't notice that before. That's cute. Anywho. Oh, I think this was originally one of the ones that I had was going to keep, but then I got a different one. So I was like, well, I don't want to keep a bunch of them. This one's cute. I think that's why I liked it because of the cute little hearts and the cows. <laughs> I love the cows. They're my favorite. Hi, hi, Giovanna. Arf, arf, she says. And she's turning into a dog over there. Good lord. We're all cracking up. Fat kitty cat. Yes, don't give Ricky corn. No, don't give that dog no corn. That's bad for the doggy. It'll make him sick. No corn for dogs. Especially popcorn or anything like that. Well, actually, popcorn, as long as they're able to digest it, they, they can have a little bit of it. But they shouldn't really have a lot of it, A, eh? and definitely not with sugar and stuff on it. No, you don't give that to him. He's not going to have just stinky poops, but the sugar is bad for him. Don't do that. They can have plain popcorn, but they can't eat in like only a few pieces and that's it. They can't have like a lot of it. But with nothing on it. Cute wallpapers. Look at the little chickens with their little eggs and the little chicks. <laughs> Hi, Weston. Oh, you've never commented? This is the first time? Oh, well, thank you for commenting and welcome to our wackadoodle. We have no idea. We don't know our ass from our elbow live stream. We really don't. We've all lost our minds. We all got something. We all got something. This is pretty. We all got some sort of ailment that makes it so our brains break every other day. None of us know what the hell we're doing. Let's get through this a little faster, because otherwise we're going to be here for 10 to 15 years looking at wallpaper. It's cute and all, but, you know, it's got bunny rabbits and the cows and all that stuff. More bunny rabbits and flowers and more flowers and then more barns, trees and paint brushes in my way. Get out of the way. <gasps> Don't you give them chocolate. I had a dog that ate an entire bag of miniature uh, miniature Snickers. A whole bag. It was around Halloween time. He ate the bag and all the wrapping. Not all the bag, but he ate the wrapping on all of them. He didn't just eat like it, ugh, it was, and his poops were like disgusting. But at that, you know, like I was like twenty, no, maybe like eighteen or nineteen, and me and my boyfriend had a dog, and yeah, we left the dog for like an hour and came back, and he had eaten an entire bag of Snickers, and we were like, oh god. <laughs> Make some cute cards to make those and make like the background pieces and stuff or journal covers and 
all kinds of doohickeys. I like using wallpaper for journal covers because it's sturdy and it ain't gonna rip. You can wrap it around a piece of chipboard real nice. Oh, that's a pretty one. I like that on the outside. Yeah, this was one. This was my my book. It was that one's another pretty one here. And no room on my desk for it. Yeah. Yeah, he had, he had, what we saw in his poop was, because they, it came like in those little silver wrappers or whatever, and it was like, you would see like little silver bits of the wrapper in his poops. And I was like, you stupid dog, what the hell's the matter with you? He wasn't a poodle, by the way, he was just a stray dog. He wasn't so smart. He was cute, but he wasn't so smart. Yeah, it's in the auction. Um, Janie put a link up of the rules right there. You have to read the rules first if you want to bid. And send me an email with your information that I asked for in the rules. All right. This big ass book. Ugh. Good lord. You ate rat poison. How the hell do you get rat poison? Good lord. Huh. I swear there's dogs that eat all kinds of things. Anyway, no more chatting during the bidding, please. This is starting at a dollar. Janie said go already. So, have at it. It says art for your wall. Because it's a... This dude is an artist or whatever. Kimball. Whatever his name. Warren Kimball. Yeah, Warren Kimball. Warren Kimball. desk. Crappy desk. Warren Kimball. Uh, Jill, Miss Jill Kane, you got it. Miss Jill Kane got it. She got it for 17. Let's see what I put your name out here. Uh, didn't you get something else or no? You got something else, didn't you? No? Maybe you didn't. Maybe I thought you did. Oh, yeah, there you go. I see it. You got one of the rainbow things, correct? Yeah. Do I was going to say.
Oh, awesome. Thank you, Miss Jill. Another fabric, a simple book. Get off, get off. This one has like oranges and yellows and reds and little bits of paper. Either paper or is that fabric? It's paper. It's from a notebook. Probably from that one that I was ripping pages out of. Some pretty colors. It's like a pink. It's pretty sparkly. That's like a pink color too. Pretty. Let's get out of here. All sparkly. No, not twenty four hour auction. It goes about five hours or so. About five hours. Let's see, get off. And we got grays and yellows and more little fuzzies. Oh, what's this? A secret note? No, just a piece of paper. <laughs> and that's it. All right, we'll start it at one dollar. One dollar. I usually end around ten thirty ish. Okay, no chatting during the bidding, please. Let me move some stuff out of the way. Why are you sitting over there, Tigger? You weirdo. What are you doing? You're not supposed to sit down, bud. You're not supposed to sit down, bud. You're not supposed to sit down, bud. Oh, sit down, buddy. Or kick your butt. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Hm. You weirdo. That's so weird. My dog is a weirdo. It says fabric features on this little tab here. What are the features? Does it have features? Unique qualities of Krypton. Krypton. That's the, it's Krypton. It's Krypton. It's Kryptonite. This is exceptional stain resistance. Cleans quickly with just water and mild soap and water. Moisture barrier. Spills cannot penetrate into the cushions of of your upholstery where harmful bacteria molds often thrive. Antimicrobial protection, Krypton is treated to prevent the gross, gross growth of mildew, molds, and fungi and bacteria. Hmm. Interesting. It's magic. 
Miss Barber gets it. Miss Barber. I have some other pretty fabrics. I have this one here, which is really pretty with this flower pattern, kind of boho y looking. Very boho y looking. Which reminds me, I have to go get, I have some boho trims to put up. I have to go get them in the other room. So I'll do that when I let Tigger out because he has to go out because he's bugging me and that's the reason I know that. This has like a raised embossed kind of embroidery or whatever stitching on there and it's a flower. Really nice. Really nice. This would make a pretty journal cover for pillows or something. And there's this one which is really pretty. It's like a dark red. It's got this floral and it has like a color change ability. It looks dark and light in some lights. Really pretty. And there's this one with a dark red or dark orange, really. It's like an orangey red background and these little square doohickeys on it. got this big piece of fabric that is really nice teal with like a gray background and it's a long piece it's a quite a big piece you can make some things with it And then there's this like tapestry style fabric. It's a very and it's a pretty big piece too. And it's double what you're seeing here because it's still folded over here. So what you're seeing is only half of it. And it's a pretty big piece. But you can't have that piece only. You have to buy them all. Sorry, Charlie. Anyway, um, we'll start these at a dollar. Whenever you're ready, Janie, please don't chat. While the bidding is going on, I have to let Tigger out and uh, grab the boho stuff. So I'll be right back.
Okay, sorry. I have to let the dogs out. Deal with Winnie and Willow, who are being a pain in my butt. All right. Um, it looks like Jill, you got it, Miss Jill. Uh, you said, can I give the geometric piece? Uh, I thought you wanted this one, Bima. Which one did you want? What geometric piece are you talking about? This one? Which, which... Bima, are you going to tell me which one it was that you wanted? Was it the geometric one? If you're not going to tell me, then I'm going to have to, and then Jill's going to have to deal with that with you. Because I ain't going to sit here all day and wait for you to answer my ass. Where did the bag go? Did I lose the bag? Huh. You know, I think I buried it under here or something. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Alright, well then, don't worry about it. Jill's, because she's gonna, she's gonna be a pain in the ass and argue back and forth, because that's how she is. So she loses out. It's all for Jill. <laughs> you can't have any. All right, let's do a giveaway. I've got... A stencil. It's got fleur de lis on it. Fleur de lis. I love you too, but I'm not going to sit and get between an argument back and forth. No, you keep it. No, I want to give it to you. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> that makes me want to go. <laughs> I ain't got time for all that shit. <laughs> Janie, stop flirting with Nightbot. Quit that flirting. I see what you're doing. She's over there giving him the eyes. <laughs> Bima! See, now you won something. So now you don't have to... Now you can't argue, because if you try to give it back to me, I'm going to shove it up your butt. Ma's Elsbit I wrote. <laughs> I started writing your screen name and then I'm like, then I wrote your name. And so I did it again. It's gonna get crinkled. I don't want to crinkle it. Stay. Okay. Well, 
Well, that's because Janie keeps giving it eyes. Blame it on Janie. It's her fault. It's her fault. All right. I'm doing... What I'm going to do is... I'm putting together... I'm not doing like one color because I don't really have enough to do that. But I'm just going to put together multicolor trims. And I'm going to put together... I'm just going to put together sets of trim. And... Put a price on it. It's upside down so you can't see. But And what I'm going to do is each one that I do... Um, let's see, find my other bits. And bits and bits and bits. I'll just put it, it'll just. just put together where you'll get you know a certain amount of pieces and this is just like an example set where I have one two three four five six seven eight so let's do you'll get eight pieces hey now quit and they'll be ten dollars a pack and you'll get eight pieces um, obviously not exactly the same, but I have all different. So I'm just going to, what I'll do is whoever wants it and says me, I'm just going to go through and pick out 10, you know, eight pieces per thing, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'll do it and I'll send it to you in a baggie. So you'll get, you know, cause I have all the things in here and I have random other multicolor ones in there. So I pick a little from each bag. And I have like a bag of stuff here and I have a bag of stuff here and stuff like that. So I just go through and pick a couple from each bag and put together eight pieces. And that's what I'm doing because I don't have, you know. So if you would like one, um, if you're interested in having a set of boho trims for ten dollars uh you'll get eight pieces some of them will be beaded or have sequin sequin pieces on it or you know that type of thing and then others will be just multicolor pretty trims or have like metallic threads and all that kind of stuff or be like metallic trims to do your bohoing with boohooing when Janie says go if you say me, then I'll put you together a package. So whenever Janie is ready, she'll say go. And if you want a set of them, I will put them together. And it'll just be, you'll get a random set. Barbara. She lost her damn mind. <laughs> okay, so who I got is um I'm just gonna do it this way. Actually, give me the last one, 35. Let's see, let me do it this way, it'll be easier. Oops. Okay, so we have Karen. And JD, you want two of them? Karen, you want one? I could do multiples if you wanted them. JD, you want two? Uh, Dawn wants one. That's one. 
um, Barbara. That's one. You want three, Karen? Okay. And who else wanted one? But you are you saying, Bima? Are you saying you and Laura? One for you, one for Laura. Is that what you mean? Laura free. And, and I'm assuming you're paying for it. Is that what you mean? You want two, JD? Okay. Yeah, I got two for you. I got, yeah, I got two for you. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, you want just one to Laura. Okay. So you don't want one yourself is what you're saying. Okay. Okay, got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. All right, then. I will put those together and put them in your bags. Your bags. The other um, thing that I have is, uh, let's see, what is this? Oh yeah. Um, what in the hell is caught on there, dummy? Get off. I have one, two, three, four. Okay. I have th four yards of really pretty, get off my finger, um, <laughs> boho sari ribbon, and basically, um, I'll do, let's see, one, Okay. They're all four yard. What the hell? Get back here and run away from me. One, two, three, four. Okay, Barbara, I'll make yours too. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I have four because I leave myself a little bit. Yeah, I only have four because that only leaves me with a little bit. I just want a little of it. So I have four of these. They're five dollars a piece, and they're really pretty because they've got like real pretty patterned. And like this one's like a tie dye, and then they've got like flower patterns, and they're just real pretty teal. Um, what do you call it? Sorry. Sorry. So, since I have four of them, um, the first four people that say me after Janie puts go can have one each. Just one each because I only have four. No, five dollars each. Janie, whenever you're ready. Ten dollars each for the boho. Yeah. For the boho trim. But for these, it's five dollars for, for four, four yards. No, that's the little bags. Can I have my big bags, please? You painted my butt. Thank you. So, Janie, Pauline, Giovanna, and Jill. Janie, Pauline, Giovanna, and Jill. Janie, Pauline, Giovanna, and Jill. Oops.
Um, I have Janie, Pauline, Giovanna, and Jill. Paul, you you are right outside of the four. You're on, you're the fifth person, unfortunately. Everybody else, that's all I had. Get off me. My things are attacking me. Alright, and who wanted the, the, the other one? Barbara, you wanted two of these. So. Oh. Two. because you took your Benadryl. <laughs> your Benadryl makes you not fast enough. neutrals in it and it's like all soft like fat, um, velvet materials with like pretty patterns and such and it's just all soft really soft and these are fancy fabrics with some strings no strings attached yes strings attached there's black and there's like a grayish, no, that's like a sage color. And then there's that color, and there's this big one, black and white. They're so soft, they're nice to feel. That one's like a light blue. It's hard to see the colors, but that's like a light blue. That's like a black and white, and it's like a pink and white. It looks really red on the thing, but it's more like a pink. Ooh, black and white checks. And different colors in the checks. Okay. Oh, that one comes right out. Somebody must have cut that and then didn't want it and put it back. Yeah. They must have cut it out and then didn't want it and stuck it back in there. <laughs> and then blue checks 
and then more oh, these checks here black and tan checks and red and tan checks and then that one it's like that sage color again real light sage color this is like a really really light teal and this is a black with that pattern on it it's that same pattern it's hard to see on camera but it's that pattern but with blacks and then this is like a black and white stripe real soft and that's like a white and tan kind of stripe same with this one and that one. that's like that sage color and there's like a black stripe with the like a woven tan it's like that pinky coral color there we go all right, we'll start this at a dollar. Whenever Jamie's ready. Oh, you're making a black and white journal. I I thought about doing that too because I have black and white paper and stuff and I have um, some fabric that was like that black and white check one. I believe I have a piece of this as well. Um, something, well, I think it was black and black and white like this, like the black and cream color kind of. And I thought it would be really cool. I think I have a piece that's like this. It's either like this or it's more of a geometric pattern it's not quite square i can't remember but it was something similar and i saved it and i thought mm, i'll save that because maybe i'll use it to make a journal cover this would make a great journal cover it's the right size you know it's a nice big piece but yeah i like the geometric patterns but yeah i thought about doing the black and white because now i have i found some black and white scrap of paper at the creative reuse i had a pad of black and white from a long time ago that was given to me so between those two pads of paper plus i have a small i believe i have like a six by six black and white pad and then what else did i have i don't know i have some other things i thought oh i could make a black and white journal because i've seen a couple of people making them um online on youtube somewhere and i was like huh i was like i bet i would like to do that i think that would be cute but see I, it's hard for me to not do something with a lot of color you know obviously so it's hard for me to do that so i'm wondering how well i'll stay in the black and white <laughs> I have scrap pieces of black and white fabric. Cool. A single red line. Oh, that's cool. JD, you got your five in before the stop. Sorry, Teresa, yours came in after the stop. Have you down for something, JD? I think I did for the, one of the things. What did I do with it? How did you down? Oh, I haven't put it in here yet. That's why. Okay, I'll start your thing here. I have to. You had something you got. I haven't written it down in here yet. Okay, dokey. Oh, okay. Okay. Hi, Tala. Um, the shipping, the rules, Janie just put a link up for the rules. So you go there and you read the rules and do what it says in rule number one and number two. And then um, the shipping is a price that'll be separate that I will send you with the information you're going to give me in rule number one. 
I will send you the I will send you the amount of the shipping price separately. So you pay today for whatever you buy, and then in the over the next two weeks, I get everything shipped. I get everything packed up. Um, and once I get everything packed up, and I have a shipping price because I do it myself. I have a scale and whatever I, you know calculate all the shipping up and then I send you the shipping price so it's the exact shipping price I don't send like an estimate it's not like a, a you know whatever it's an exact shipping price from the USPS you know uh, this way you have the shipping price and then you send it and then I ship off your item if you use multi patterns that keeps it okay because this oh yeah that makes sense that makes sense. That's true. If I use like different patterns, it won't be so mundane, I guess. Hmm, that's a good idea. I didn't think of it that way. This is a little sewing kit. It's got like a little rolly do doohickey, a seam ripper, and a pin cushion, a measuring tape, some thread. There's pins in there. There's a white pencil for marking your fabric, and there's something else in there. I'm not going to open it, but it's a it's a vintage kit, but it's still 1993. Okay, so it's not that vintage. I thought it was more vintage because of the way the packaging had like kind of yellowed a little bit. Not that old. Packaging just yellows, I guess, over time. This is a like little kitchen towel thing where you can do cross stitch on this part of it. It's got like the cross stitch fabric here. So you can like cross stitch your name, your last name, you know, or do some sort of like thing. So there's that. Then there is a bunch of fabrics that were attached, adhered to paper with some sort of stuff. So you can then die cut them. Look at the little kitty cats. So they're somehow, they're very well adhered to some sort of paper. So, and they're nice and flat, so you can do something with it. And I guess you can get it off if you peel it off. But it's like, it's on there, I guess, so you can run it through your die cut machine, maybe? Not sure, because this one is the same. And that one. This one's got like a plastic coating on it or something. It's like fabric on that side. It's got like a plastic coating on it. So does this one. Little cows. That's a black and white piece. There's another one with the plastic coating on it. It's got strings hanging from it. This is just regular fabric, but it's on the paper. These are all on paper. And then here is another one with plastic coating on with little owls and a piece of tape on the front of it for some reason. I don't know why. And then this one has some sort of, oh, it's just a piece of, never mind. This one has is dinosaurs. Isn't this cute? <laughs> it's a dinosaur dressed up for Halloween. Terrorsaurus. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Oh, and then there's an, other little dinosaurs here. <laughs> little dinosauruses and these little dinosauruses and then there is a piece of this which is double the size here and it has like a little landscape on it going on that's cute and a fuzz nice long thread There's another piece of it about the same size as that one. In fact, I think it's exactly the same size, yeah. So, two of those. And then there is this one here, which is really pretty. It's got blue stitching to make the flowers. And then there's a green one. Nice fancy looking green piece. And then there is this one, which was a fabric sample, but they somebody cut the piece out of it. But you can still use it for embellishments or whatever. And here's the piece they cut out of it, right here. So, but you can, I don't know what they were doing with that, making something that was hexagon shaped, I guess. Mm, don't know. Oh, there's a, another piece of this, that other one here. 
get another piece. This one's a little bit bigger of that cotton landscape pattern. It's a pretty big piece. It's like a little over a yard, I guess. It's not very wide, but okay. 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 So we'll start these at a dollar. Whenever Janie is ready, and I'm going to run to the potty real quick, and I need to grab a a uh, couple more things I have and then we're almost done. Okay. Miss Barbara, you got it at six before Jeannie had it at six, so you get it, Miss Barbara. Make sure before you leave that you are paying for your total um, before you leave or else you cannot be in the final giveaway. The final giveaway is only for those who have paid their total. Okay. Um, oh, I have a bag of stamps. I have rubber stamps. I have rubber stamps. I have a snowman. I have a butterfly. That's a Stampin' Up butterfly. To a dear mother. To a dear mother. It's a little a leaf, a little holly corner. This is a little cactus. A happy birthday. Happy birthday. A rabbit with really long ears. <laughs> uh, 
This is like a Christmas one with candles and presents and a bow, which is not going in focus at all. And this is a little teddy bear Christmas. This is a cloud with the sun. This is cute. Garfield, the flower. <laughs> Another little partridge in a wreath. Snowman. Excuse you. This one is, says, may Thanksgiving bring you pleasure, some pudding and some cake in equal happy measure like mother used to make. A bee. A little tile type of flourish thing. Thank you. Happy birthday, going upwards like that. Santa Claus. Uh, Stampin' Up little flowers, irises, is that what they're called, I think? Irises, thinking of you is a nice thing to do. That's a Stampin' Up too. This is a Stampin' Up, thank you. Bless our troops. Stampin' Up ladybugs. East the bunny. Take the scenic route. Stamping up little leaves in a circle thing. Presents. God bless your Christmas. Why did it sneeze? A saw. Honey. Stamping up. Santa Claus and his reindeers. An apple. This is a Stampin' Up! Thinking About You because you're so nice to think about. A hammer. Stampin' Up! Ivy. Oh no. Uh, um, yeah, Ivy leaves. I don't know. The, the What are they called? The holly leaves. Dang it. My brain is driving me nuts. This is another Stampin' Up! with heartfelt sympathy. Another Stampin' Up! Easter basket. Another Stampin' Up! bow. Believe. Do you believe in life after love? Stampin' Up! Happy birthday to you. Stampin' Up! bow. This one is, can't you see it? Oh, um, this one is like a, whatever flower that is. Little flowers here. This is Stampin' Up! Nature is the living proof of a loving God. Thank you. Stampin' Up! A little hedgehog. With a net. <laughs> a butterfly. A stampin' up that says time passes, friendship stay right where it's put. Snowman with a teddy bear. Thinking of you with flowers. Loads of love. Stampin' up. Deck the halls, cherries, stamping up a bushel of roses or whatever, bouquet of roses, stamping up uh, a leaf, a little smile, swoop thing. I don't know what the hell it is. I don't know what the hell it is. Oh, look, a <laughs> little package of seed beads. I don't know how they got in there. This is a hat of some sort or something. I don't know. Something. I don't know. Stampin' Up! Gentle Thoughts of You. I am having gentle thoughts of you, Jamie. My thoughts are very gentle. If the halo fits, thanks for being such an angel, Stampin' Up! 
I still like to have gentle thoughts. Happy birthday. I'm having gentle thoughts of you. Ho, ho, ho. Santa Claus. Stampin' up flower. Happy birthday. With sympathy. Stampin' up. Happy Valentine's Day. And lastly, happy birthday. All right. We're going to start these off at a dollar. Jadie got a sandwich. Hope she got me one. Stampity stamp stamps. <laughs> Is that what that person said? They were that it was boring. The koala plays Roblox child. <laughs> okay, if it's boring. Then get out of here, dum dum. I like the bunny. The bunny's cute. I don't like bunnies usually, but I like his long ears. See, I don't like typical bunnies like that. To me, that's boring. Laura's ready to kick some butt. She misses the trolls. All right, we gotta do a giveaway after this. And then we just have like one more thing. Lots of fun stamps to play with. Get back here. Oh. Let me get this little bag. Stamps and seed beads. Jill, you got it. Ten bucks. Can't beat that, can you? Can't beat that with a stick. That's, noise. That's why I was trying to do it on my lap because it's so damn noisy. But it won't stay on my lap. My lap has revolted against me. One more fabric sample book. This one's got really pretty stuff in it. I saved the best for last. This one's got really pretty patterns and such in it. And some fuzzies. That's like a pull in the fabric. That's not a fuzzy. That's a fuzzy. That's a pull in the fabric right there. A little pull in the fabric. That's not nice. Hmm. Not nice, I say. Somebody took a piece. They took a piece out. That's not nice either. How 
dare they take my fabric. We like that one. How dare they take my fabric pieces out. That one's, one's soft on the back. I've never seen one like that. Where it was like this and then it was real soft on the back. Weird. They took another piece. They took a piece of brown. Ooh, purple. Purple. Ooh, soft. More purple. Lavender. Ooh, purple. It's like purple and lavender. That's really pretty. You can't see it in the camera because it won't show up. The nice colors don't like to show up unless I hold it up so the light can hit it. My hands are breaking. That's soft. Soft. Somebody took a piece. Bad. String. Fuzz. Strings and fuzz everywhere. really pretty too. My hands hurt. That one's really pretty too. Pretty. That looks like a mosaic. Pretty. We'll start it off at a dollar. Awesome, Tala. I'm sure Janie probably already got you approved already. She's fast. She's like lightning.
Miss Laura, you got it, Miss Laura. Miss Laura. You got it. Oh, baby, she got it. Okay, so if you're not interested in ordering any crystals, then Go ahead and pay. Uh, go to PayPal.com and using my email, PinkPoodleCrafts at gmail.com, you can pay for your items. If you need me to tell you what your total is, let me know. I can do that. If you're not sure, I can do a rundown if you need me to. Uh, like... Uh, let's see, Sharon, she has $17. Some people already paid. I'm not sure who did and didn't yet, but let's see. Jeannie, you have 7 plus 10 plus 3 plus 12. You have 32 so far. I don't know if you want any crystals or anything. Rebecca, you have 6. Karen, you have... Um, well, there's some people I didn't put down. Well, hold on. I didn't put down everybody that got sorry ribbon and stuff. Let me do that first so that I can, sorry and all that stuff, because I need to put those down too. Um, we got three sorry trims, and let's see, JD got two. So it looks like um, JD, your total is 25 so far. Unless you did, you get a crystal. You didn't get one, did you? I think I wrote all those down though. Didn't I? No. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't get one. So if you didn't get one of those from before, then no. It was 25. And Dawn, she got one thing of sor uh, sorry trim. So Dawn's is 19, unless she has anything else. I don't think so. And Barbara has two sorry trims. Yours is 67. Barbara, yours is 67. And Jane, Pauline, okay. Jane, yours is 5, because I think you just got sorry ribbon. got the stamps wait did I look I forget oh yeah Laura got the stamps I was like wait a minute uh, so Pauline you only have 
the sari ribbon, right, at five dollars. And Giovanna has the sari ribbon at five dollars. And Jill has, let's see, add that to Jill's. And well, right, so Bima is paying for Laura's trim. Did you get anything else, Laura? I mean, Bima. Itchy. All right. No, I think it's just that. Poor Laura. Okay. We'll put Bima on. We'll get me the side trim for Laura. That's ten dollars. So I'll just put that in her box. You won't have to worry about shipping on that because it ain't gonna make her box get any lighter, heavier. It's they're pretty lightweight. Okay. Okay. Right. I didn't put that down before. Or did I? Did I put that on floors? No. Okay, good. Good. Alright then. And then Jill. I think I already said yours. Yeah, sorry. And then did Jill have? Yeah, you had number 23. Which is here. Okay, rainbow. Got it. Everybody's <clears throat> thing is done. All right, all these I think I got there. Yeah, so Jill's is, you already paid the $12 for your first thing. So all you have left is 17 plus 18 plus five. So you have 40. Um, okay. And Laura Kai 06, Christine Edahari has five dollars. Rome has thirty-five. Let's see, thirty-five, forty-five, there's forty-seven is Rome's. Esther has thirty-five. Sandy has twelve. Karen has let's see. Twelve plus six plus twelve plus thirty. Um, excuse me, how bad was that? 12 plus 6 plus 60. Karen has 60. Um, anybody else that I am missing? Okay. Oh. Stamps. What stamps? Joe Kane won the stamps too. Hold on, did I miss? Did I miss a, a bid? Hold on, I'm sorry. Let me look. Did I miss? Oh, sorry. No, actually, Karen won the stamps. I just saw that. No, no, no. No, Jill won the stamps. Wait, what am I doing? What am I looking at then? What did Laura win? What was it? Oh, she won the book. Jill won the stamp. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I think I got up and was doing something. Sorry. Yes. Jill won the stamps. Ugh. Yeah. Sorry. Missed that. Sorry. I was trying to clean up a little bit and I missed that. Yeah. Jill won them for $10. Okay. Gotcha. 50. Yeah, you're right. You got it. Plus 10 stamps. Okay. Stamps. What did I do with the stamps? Did I put them aside and not put the thing on it? What did I do with them then? Did I, not hurt? I, did. I put her name on it probably and then stuck it or something. Where are they? <laughs> Where did I put the stamps? Did I move them already? Good night. It's been a long week. I get a vacation. 
I'm gonna love a peep. Oh, I did. Oh, and I did put her name on it. Never mind. I'm really losing. Ah, now I dropped them. I'm losing it. Help, Calgon, take me away. Okay, and never mind. I got it. everything's fine. Everything's fine. Let's all settle down. Yeah, I just forgot to mark them down. That's all. Okay. So if you're yeah, if you're not um if you're not interested in crystals, you can just go ahead and pay your balance and be done. If you're interested in ordering any crystal uh, things, whatever they're called, sun catchers or what have you, you can stick around and see things. Um, these are some of my new uh, pretties. My new pretties. Got that one, I got the smaller version of it. So, those get over there. Uh, some of the new, um, let's see, I don't remember which ones you guys seen, but I have that can go on the top, you know. I got the fairy butterfly with the fairy in the middle. That I got this cool like vine thing I can either do a triple sun catcher which would be really pretty which I'm planning on making one of those anyway um, or I can just do put it in the center of like some crystals here and some crystals here and put like a flower at top or something or a butterfly or whatever and I've got these new butterflies which I'm not sure I showed I've got um, dragonflies got these cool flowers got this cool flower here I've got the which one is this hmm. oh this is that like goddess lady Lord, I swear I'm going to break that thing. This is a goddess lady, which is not going to focus, of course, because my thing doesn't like to focus close up. But it's a goddess lady. She's like dancing, and that's her skirt. And she's like, it's like I call her the goddess lady. There's a couple of those. It's different from the mother earth lady that I have. That one's different. And then, let's see. I got, of course, the seahorse and then I got some others oh and I also got small 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 um balls i got small balls little little ones those are for in like in the angel wing things oh i got a new the sun the sun here um we have i have the fairy this type of fairy I only have one of these guys, seahorse, but I have, let's see, that's the one, the only carrier I have, oh, and then I have the, the that fairy there, who's like got her head up, her hand up in the air, wave it like she just don't care. <laughs> Okay, and then, oh yeah, the, this one, which of course, this little one would go inside, something like that, and then I can hang something from the bottom of it, 
And this would hang at the bottom, either or. So like that. And then there's the sun with the face. So you could do like this at the top, and then at the bottom you would have this with your thing in the middle. And then crystals obviously in between, in the middle, between the two. I have limited of the... I have a gecko. He can go like in the middle, so you can have like a sun at the top, or whatever one you want, one of the flowers. Do some crystals, put the gecko in the middle, and then the rest of the crystals can hang down from him. And we have two, three of those. And then my favorite, which I know everybody's gonna love this one, but I only have two of them, is the hummingbird. The three-dimensional hummingbird, where it would hang. Yep, sure. That too. It would hang and then hang the crystals off of that. Two of them. Somebody asked me about getting a hummingbird. I can't remember who it was. Oh, I have three geckos. I was going to do something with one of them, though, for myself because I really wanted the sun with the gecko. And then I've got a smaller moon. I can get it out. So this can go in the middle of one, too, but, or at the top of like a small rainbow one or something with a little, I could do one of these hanging from it right here. And then I can put like rainbows hanging from the bottom something like that or put it in the middle of something because it, I can connect it in there. Yes, ma'am. Laura. Jude. What? Can I pay through PayPal? Um, it depends. If you're only wanting to join the one or two dollar tier, you can join through PayPal but you won't be able to, you won't have access to the Patreon site, which you won't need anyway, because if you're just joining for my live streams, you could just pay through PayPal and I could put you into, um, I'll put you into a Facebook group chat with all the rest of the people that just paid for the live streams on Patreon. And those folks would just get the link to my live stream every time I go live on my Patreon. If you want to, to join for the Facebook group, or if you want any of the classes, that you have to join through the Patreon site. So, I think, I think that's everything, except I am missing, I am missing, Wait, what am I missing? I'm missing my peacock. Where's my other? Oh, here they are. <laughs> I found them. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. The turtle. I forgot about Mr. Turtle. Here. I have all these. <laughs> forgot about them. Dumbass. I forgot about Mr. Turtle here. I've got this seahorse here, which has a little dangly, little dangly tail. Got that seahorse dude. I've got this other seahorse dude, which I left it in the stupid package. I, have, I only have one of these left. Um, and then I have this regular seahorse here. Then I also have... Uh, oh, I have a, a tree of life with two little butterflies. They're like popped up on it. Two little butterflies. I have a Pegasus. I have a beautiful Pegasus. I have, well, they're kind of, I guess they're unicorn Pegasus because it's got a little horn there. It's got a little horn. Unicorn Pegasus, whatever. This is the Mother Nature lady with all the different from the goddess. The goddess lady is here, and that's the Mother Nature lady. Similar, but different. And I have this butterfly, this butterfly, that's the fairy butter, butterfly, and then this butterfly. So three different butterflies. Um, Seahorse, I just showed you the unicorn pegasus thing I already showed you. Oh, the mermaid, this one's a smaller mermaid. And she has her back turned towards like kind of 
It won't focus, will it? No. It hates me. So you can do like a sea turtle and do this like in the middle because I could put, I'd link it around her tail. I can link the jump ring to hold the rest of the crystal. So it doesn't have to be at the bottom. All these, like, even if there's no loop at the bottom, that's how I loop it is like through the openings. And that's why I can do it that way. Like even these, like it has openings I can loop it through, you know, like the seahorse, I loop it to its tail down here is open. So that's how I do that. And then, oh yeah, this butterfly, four butterflies, sorry. This butterfly is like a three dimensional butterfly. I forgot about that butterfly. So there's the three dimensional butterfly, the fairy butterfly, this butterfly, and where'd the other one go? that butterfly. So there's five butterflies, four butterflies. I don't know. And then of course the goddesses, which are good for like a center, a centerpiece. Like you can do like one goddess and then do some crystals and put the other goddess in the middle and then put more crystals. Anyway. So if there's anybody that's gravitating towards any one of the things I showed that wants a, um, a crystal based around one of these things, let me know. Um, because I'm going to be making them. And of course, you can just tell me what colors you want. You can tell me exactly what you want. Um, however you want to do it. Oh, wait, did I forget these? Oh, here's the peacock. Here's that one that has the dangly bottom. And then, I forgot. Uh, this is the other, that's the flower, like that one. That's the butterfly, like that. Okay, so they are. Where's the other peacock? I'm missing a peacock. I'm missing a damn peacock. I have one that's not a dangly bottom. I don't know where the heck it is. And I have the bells, of course. I showed them last time. I don't know where the peacock is. I have another peacock. I'm not exactly sure where she is, but she's somewhere. So if somebody wants a peacock, I can find it for them. Oh, wait. Hold on. I think I found it. Hold up. Well, here's the bell. I have these Tibetan bells. So if I did like, I could do the bell, which I can't. Those are bells, and I could put charms coming out, or uh, crystals coming out from the bottom of it. Anyway, um, here they are, what I'm looking for. The other dragonflies, these are the ones I'm not positive I could put a hole in, but I'm going to try. I have, still haven't done it yet. A little bit different than the other ones, but I'm going to attempt to put a hole in those. But the other peacock should be in here too. Yeah, here they are. Okay, I found them. Where's my scissors? It'd be a heck of a lot easier if I can cut that out. And then I don't have to fight with this package anymore. Yeah, this is the other peacock. So there's the bigger one here, which has these little things hanging off it, and there's a smaller one like that. You want a peacock, Barbara? And of course I have the suns and the moons in the brass. So I do brass connectors on the crystals and do the brass moons and suns. Um, oh, this lady needs to go in her little box. I need to get another box similar to this to hold more crap. Oh yeah, I've got the small angel wings. I've got one small angel wing and the other one, I don't think I have any more big ones left. I think I have to get more of those. I couldn't remember where the hell I got it from, but I do have a small one like that. And I have the regular mermaids, which you guys have seen with the the, mer the larger mermaid one, the ones where they're, she's reaching up like that. So she can go in with the other mermaids. So there's two in there. And that's the flower thing. Oh, this moon here, I have to see if I can put a hole in it. This moon and these, I can't say for sure yet. I have to see if I can get a hole. And I only have two of these anyway. And one of them is mine. <laughs> I love that moon. Cool. 
Dragonflies I already have there. That's another peacock. Oh, I have three of those moons, sorry. That's another one of those. And these are the flower things here. Vines. And the moons. And the fairy butterflies. And the rest of the mermaids. Mermaids. What goes in there? Okay. Because I didn't realize I ordered the mermaids like two or three times by accident. Because I'm stupid. You know. Um, it, yeah, it depends on, well, I mean, I can work with whatever budget you have. It just depends on what you're getting. Um, but I can work with any budget. So if you say I only have 20 bucks, what can you make me? You know, I can pretty much, depending on the topper, I can pretty much use any one of these and it just depend. That'll just make it depend on how long you want it, whatever. Um, and what type of crystal I put at the very bottom, which would be your rainbow maker, you know, one of the rainbow the clear could be clear or a b but i have several different bottoms you know i have the the bottoms that are like these that'll make rainbows and i have the bottoms like this and i have obviously ones that are like a b crystals with that color in it and then i have I have these which are expensive. These are a little bit pricier because these are these are like 12 they cost me $12 each to get these. And then these little ones here, they were either 8 or $9 a piece, these specific ones. I have other ones that aren't this expensive, but these because of the cuts in them, they were more money. That's why I only got 3 of the big ones and 3 of the little ones because I was like, mm, they're pricey. But they're beautiful and they cast amazing rainbows too. Yes, she got, she won one. Yeah, I haven't, I asked her what she wanted on it, but I haven't gotten around to making it yet. Um, I haven't seen what she wanted yet, so. No, she didn't win. She did, she won, she, she didn't win a crystal kit. Did you win a crystal kit or you won the thing? Well, JD, I asked, well, that's because I, a I had asked you what you wanted and I wasn't sure if I s seen your message before I sent your box out. And then any giveaway stuff, keep in mind, giveaway stuff might take longer. If I'm really swamped and it's a giveaway item that you won and I'm really swamped and I didn't have time to put it together, that's different. I might not have had time because of Christmas to put it together. So if you win something, it might it might not be a lickety split thing because I wanted to get your auction stuff out to you. Now, if you were wanting to wait for me to have time to get it together, you know what I mean? Like it just depends on how fast I can get something together. I, I had to put the precedence on those that paid for things. Giveaways always come after that. If I If it's something that's like a giveaway that I already have in hand, that's fine. I can throw that out. No problem. But if it's something I have to make, it, I don't always have the time to like, what do you mean I put your name on it? Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, wait. It's something that you won that I, that, that was already made up and it didn't go in your box. Huh? It didn't go in your package? Because you have one that you won, JD, that I didn't make for you yet. It was one that I'm going to make for you. Remember I said, pick whatever you want, you know, pick what colors you want. If it was something that was already made and it didn't go in your package, I'm not sure why. It must be in my box and maybe I just didn't grab it out of the giveaway box, which is possible. That's the only thing. So if that's the case, then I'll write it on your paper and I'll just make sure it goes out with your stuff that you have now. Because it might be in the giveaway box and maybe I missed it. Because usually I look in there for everything for from anybody. You know what I mean? And maybe I just had it in my head that you had won the other one. You won a sun catcher, remember? So I'll put it in here that you have a kit um, that you won. One. And I bet you it's in my box. And I bet you I just didn't think, didn't see it when I looked in there. One kit. Um, crystal. Was it a... 
like an ornament kit or something. Yeah, I bet you that's in the box then. I thought you were talking about your giveaway item, the crystal that I'm making for you. Because you have a crystal, remember? That's maybe what my brain was thinking is what you had that. If, but your thing must be in my box. It's in my box. <laughs> um, cause I put all the giveaways in a box and pull them out when I'm packing stuff and maybe I missed it somehow, but it's got to be in there. If it's already made, then obviously it has your name on it already. So it's got to be in that box. But you also have a crystal sun catcher that you have to pick what colors you want for. I think I messaged you about it. I'm not sure you did already, but I haven't had a chance to go back to it because of Christmas and everything. And I was real, real, real busy. And then, of course, my tires blew out and I had to deal with that whole debacle. So. But anyway, um, Barbara, did you say, you, did what did you want again? I forget. You said you wanted something. Turtle. You wanted the turtle, right? Who wanted the turtle? I think Barbara said she wanted a turtle. Oh, hi, Robin. <laughs> she missed everything. <laughs> you want the turtle and the large seahorse? Because you already... I already made you your one. And that one's already packed up with the large seahorse. Remember? You already have one with a large seahorse. Did you want a different one? Like, did you want another one? Never. Why do you say never? Joy, you wanted a turtle, right? Okay, you want a turtle. And what do you want on your turtle? You were going to say, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I put a seahorse and a mermaid on yours, didn't I? A seahorse, a mermaid. Um, what do we do on yours, Barbara? We did the seahorse, and then we did a mermaid. I didn't have the turtles when we talked about that, did I, at that time? I don't think. Yes. I have spider charms, actually. I do. They're not huge. They're about that big. So they're not like as big as like some of these, but they're on this, they're like, like this size. They're one of the smaller ones. Thanks, Jeannie. Like a sea color, blue, green. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. Okay. So, joy. Sea colors. Now, do you just want the turtle or do you want something else with it? Mermaid, seahorse. Like. Or do you just want like a turtle and then have it have like sea stuff hanging and then something at the bottom obviously something at the bottom but what's huge you said that's huge what's huge this isn't huge no just the turtle okay sea, co sea colors turtle on top do you have a preference of what goes on the bottom That's easy enough. The spider is huge. <laughs> it's not a real spider. I'm going to go grab it real quick. The spiders I have. I think they're over here. 
I don't know if I have silver though. Uh, they might be. Yeah, they're like a bronze, antique bronze color. I believe. I just have the hands. I have a spider web. Oh, I have a spider web with silver. But I have antique bronze spider. And. Yeah, I have the antique bronze spider. So I can do that and put the antique bronze connectors with the crystals, which actually they look really pretty when you do the antique bronze, I think anyway. Or I have a silver spider web with a spider on it, but it's smaller even. It has a spider web with a spider. So spider web with a spider is a little bit smaller than the turtle. That's actually bigger than the turtle. Not nasty. It's a, it's a fake spider. It's not, I don't like spiders either, but I don't mind. I don't mind fake ones. All right, I'm gonna put tape on this one so that it's yours. Pretty little sling turtles. Oh, did you say uh, you want the antique spider one? Do you want, what do you want hanging from it? I'm going to put a hole right in his butt. I could put a hole in him easy. I have my thing. Um, put a hole in his butt. And Joy, you want me to pick the bottom one too? Cool. I like doing that because then I can see what looks best on the bottom based on the what your doohickey is. Yeah. Ooh. I got more. I got um Get some purple square ones that can go like in the middle. That's what I was going to tell you. Um, uh, who wanted the purple one? Karen, because I could put I could put one of these in the middle. I have to clean that because it's got specks on it, like it was in the dishwasher. But it's my fault because I was spraying to clean off a part of my desk and I had this I had these sitting there and I I got some of the spray on there so I'm gonna have to take some baby wipe or some Windex and clean it. So I got like like water spots on the damn thing. Um, okay, I got pink ones too, pink squares. They're just like that. More of the S curved ones because everybody liked those. More of the teardrops, because everybody liked those too. And then I got the purple squares and the pink squares. And round ones. Oh, wait. I'm missing. Where the hell is that? Those, uh, damn it. I'm missing. So, uh, I'm missing those weird ones that I got, which were kind of cool. I can't put those. Um, oh, yeah, that's my. That one's already taken because I'm doing that other one. That's the only other one I had was that big one. That big ass one. Big ass. And then I got, oh yeah, I got these in. Which mostly I'm probably going to be doing these with the big, um, they're giant teardrops. I'll probably be doing these mostly with um, the wind chimes that I'm making because these will be really pretty hanging on those those and these I got from my wind chimes hi 
I uh, I on her uh, on her ONG bracelet is better than what you can choose what to use on the spider is it for you Robin because I'll put I could put whatever colors you want um, where'd the spider go there it is You like bugs? <laughs> well, tell me what colors you like. You can think about it, but just tell me what colors you like so that I don't, I don't want to put something, you know, that you wouldn't like, or maybe you're, you could tell me colors or what you like on the bottom. Maybe I'll put your spider like that. Yeah, these are the, these are the, um, the sun or flower. They've got like that flower in the center or sun. I can't remember what they were called, but yeah. And then we got, oh, the goddess lady. I forgot about her too. That goddess lady that I had to put a hole in. I forgot this goddess lady. I forgot I had her too. Didn't I have her in here? No, I guess not. I'm gonna put her in the thing. Mm. Okay. This is oh that dragonfly too. What's the other one there? Figure out if I can put a hole in. Never mind. I do have two more angel wings. Did I not? Did I not? Did I just get these? I can't remember. I think I did. Yeah, because I have two more of these. If anybody ever wanted any, because I know that everybody loved these, and that would go. Ooh, that would just go in the center of that perfectly, or the littler one, or the t teardrop. I think I got small teardrops that'll fit in there, but. Anyway, those are the ones that made those clangy clang clang noise. Yeah, I can make whatever you want. Um, who was it that wanted it? Yeah, you could just pick your. Oh, Tina. I'm making. Uh, I'm just basically going through and s taking orders for any of the sun catch the the sun catcher. You know these things. This one's for Rome, but for the sun catchers that I make, um, I'm taking orders for whatever somebody wants. If they want a specific top charm, um, any kind of color thingies, um, anything they want in the middle or not in the middle or whatever they want on the bottom, that type of thing. So this is a rainbow one because it's got the rainbow colors with the AB in between with the big sun flower thing. And then the big one at the bottom too. I only I only could make two of them exactly like this. I can make more as long as somebody doesn't care that the bottom thing would be different. Because I have more suns and I have more middle ones like that. But I don't. I only got two of these. That's all they had, and they were not cheap. The middle ones weren't either. But that bottom one was more expensive. Cause it's weird. But yeah, I can do any budget, even you know. I can make a little one even for, you know, starting at like, you know, even $12, you know, $15. I can make something little, but if you want it to be long like that, it would have to be like $25, but 
for 40 can you make a super sparkly one yeah i can make anything you want you can with the colors and the charm oh ooh! can i ooh for 40 i can i do ooh well can i tell you or do you want it to be a surprise can i mention something because that made me happy because i want to do one of these really bad well, she saw me grab it so I might as well show it I want to take this and hang it this away like that's where the hanger will go hang some from here hang some from here hang some from the middle and put the the doodads on it put one big one in the middle and put two little hangy things in the you know what I mean I've been dying to do one of those and that's the right price because you'll get three long well there'll be the two on the out it'll be the one in the middle will be longer or the two on the outside will be longer i haven't i'll have to play with it to see because i haven't done one of these yet and i've been dying to do it because i think that'd be cool so yeah i can do that yeah i've been do dying to do one of these so i will put that down for you miss Dawn. I won't go over 40 and obviously shipping it'll just go in with your other stuff do you have any colors in mind or you just want me to pick it out wasn't the last one you showed like the one I ordered yes you get one and Rome gets the other because I only have two of the bottom things I have this one and I have this one so you get one and Rome gets the other one Otherwise, I can make the, the whole thing. It's just this bottom one has to be different. But yes, you and Rome, um, Esther and Rome got these. This one's Rome, and I'm going to make yours exactly the same. That's why I'm keeping it in here so I can make sure I reference it and make it the same. No, 40 will be fine. You don't have to go up to 50. That's fine want something from my brain i'm gonna put down my brain <laughs> i mean if, if you want it to be like spectacularly long and all that you can give me 50 if you want but 40 you'll be fine but if you want it to be extra you know extra crazy with like charms in the middle and all craziness yeah you could do that if you want but i'm gonna make it extra crazy that's up to you but 40 is fine. I can make something real nice for 40. So don't even really, don't even think you have to. Because I'll it's gonna be super pretty anyway. Let's see. Put that there. They're fun to make. I like making the charms. Yeah, at some point I'm gonna make one. I'm going to take these little coins off of here and I'll use them for something else and put one, a, a, a crystal on each one. And then the center one, I'm going to have a drop go down with like crystals and then stuff on that one too. And that one, that one I could just do the one. Same thing with like the butterflies because they have like two areas here. I can hang one from here and one from there or like even her because she's kind of wide i could do one or i can do two hanging from her the flowers i could do you know two and then one in the middle even you know the ones that are like wider i could do more with yeah do you want the angel wing one instead of the spider one or do you want the angel wing one and the spider one mm. I my paper. Okay. So, okay. So we'll do, what do you want? Do you want anything specific on your angel wing? You know, hanging down from it. Do you want anything specific? Do you want it on the, you want me to make it like I made that other one that everybody loved, um, where this was on the bottom. So it kind of made that clinky noise. It kind of almost sounded like a wind chime. 
I wish I still had it here so I can show it. I don't remember if you saw it. But I put this lady at the top. This was like that Mother Earth. I was calling her the angel without her wings. And then she was at the top. And at the bottom, I had this with the thing in it. And it was making that cute little noise. And she was at the top. I was calling her the angel without her wings. And she was air letting her wings dry. And I was like, she had her wings were down there at, at the bottom drying. <laughs> purples for the angel wings. Okay, so you want purples in this one? Yeah, that'll be pretty if I put that on the top and that on the bottom. That would be super pretty. So we can do the angel wings on the bottom. Let me see. I think I have... Do you want a round one in the center of this? Or do you want the, um, the teardrop? I did the teardrop last time, but I don't, it's not going to matter which one it's just up to you your personal preference on that let me see make sure i have more of the small teardrops that fit in there i'm not sure i do i think i did somewhere in the middle i think i'm pretty sure i do a little... yeah, i think i just moved them into Yeah, it was that one or, I think, well, I don't know. Was it that one? No, it was the AB. It was that bigger AB one. You want the round one? Okay. Well, then I'll just do the round one. Yeah, that'll be cute. That'll be really pretty. Okay, so we'll do that. And I'll put angel wings on the bottom with round. And the goddess. And angel chick, I don't know what she's called, goddess angel on top, and you want purples, cool, I'll put those together there, try to tape them on there, Tape it on the back. Okay, so for your price for these, um, the spider, the spider will do 20 since you just wanted something hanging down from it, you know, like just some charms and then the bottom piece. And then for this one, this is going to be 30. Is that okay? For this one? So it'll be 30 for this one and 20 for this one. Little spider dude. So 50 all together, I guess. So I'll put that on your thing. Ow, you had something, didn't you? No, you didn't have anything on here. Okay, so I'll put yours on here then. Robin. Okay. And I'll do uh, some catchers. Plus thirty. Alright, and then the other one was Joy's. And Joy's what were we doing for your oh yeah joys and dawns dawns was 40 joys you'll be you just wanted this on top and what did we say 20 we'll do 20 for yours joy is that we said i don't remember if we said anything well we'll do 20 since yours is the little the little or sea turtley one sea turtley and joys was 40 no dawns was 40 i'll throw hers on here Hers was 40, so that's uh, 59 total on that, and we want this, oh, um, what is that called, vine? Yeah, it's called a vine, vine, sun catcher, call it whatever, okay, then 20, I'll do yours for 20. Um, 
And yours is the turtle. Turtle sun. And sure. Okay. So this will be 20. We'll do that. You switch yours to 50 and no rush. Oh, you want 50? Okay. I'll do 50. 50. Yeah, I have one other per I have a couple I'll make uh, I'm gonna make JD's and make sure your thing goes out too, JD. I'll make yours when I, I sit and make them because I'll probably do it in a live stream in the next like four or five days. Um so I'll probably sit and make some and work on those. Um so yours is sixty-nine then sixty-nine. And I'll work on JD's so that I can make sure hers gets sent out. And then I have one other person that had ordered a rainbow one. I'm going to finish hers up. She told me not to rush before Christmas. So I said, I'll get it to her right after Christmas. So I got to do that one and send it out. And I don't remember who that was, but it's written on my thing. And I think that's everybody. Uh, I think, yeah, other than that, that's all I have. Ew. Yeah, unfortunately, this box worked out really well. This is the one that I got those brownies in. Who sent me the damn brownies? Those brownies were so good. Oh, my God. I think it was it like Sarah or something. Who was it? Sarah or somebody sent me these brownies. And, man, I think I ate them all in, like, a matter of days. They were in this box, and there was, like, four. There was four of one kind, four of another kind, four of another kind. And, man, were they the best brownies I think I've ever had in my life. But the box, I was like, the box is really sturdy and nice. And I was like, I'm keeping that box. And so now that it's holding my charms. I can't remember who bought me them. Esther wants to change on hers. Oh, sorry. I didn't. Let me just scroll up and see. Could you change the top of mine to a butterfly? What did I have on the top of yours? Oh, so you don't want the sun on the top? You want a butterfly on top? Okay. I'll put that down on the on the paper. Where did I write that down at? Oh, I wrote it down on here. Okay. Which butterfly do you want? Do you want the fairy butterfly? Do you want the one that's like wider at the top butterfly? Where's the other one at? Crazy ass butterflies are disappearing. Do you want this butterfly? Or the one that's three dimensional? Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, I can switch out anything. The third one, this one? Yeah, that's that one, too. That's one of my favorites. I like that one. I like all of them, but... Yeah, these I just got in the little three-dimensional ones I thought they would be real cute with um like the the rainbows or the chakra whatever you want to call it they would be good with those so with the tree of life ones the tree of life ones would be great with the chakra dudes those are cute cute all right let me stick this on your paper so I don't lose it Oh, that's right. I already made you one with a sun. Anybody else want any? Yeah, I'm gonna make myself one of these. 
too because I definitely want the moon and the sun. That brass one, I really I like the brass one that I made. What, who did I make that for? I made a brass one for somebody, and man, I liked I liked the brass clips in it and everything. Because I've been using a lot of jump rings on them, but the the brass clips. Oh, and I didn't realize these were so tiny. I didn't realize I had these teeny tiny ones. I thought they were just that size. But the brass clips with the brass sun and moon was so pretty. I was like, yeah, I'm definitely making one of those for myself. That one's going to go in the kitchen. Or it'll go in my hexagon window. That's where that would look really pretty. Because those are my favorite was that one when I made them all. That was my favorite. And I know this one I'll like too. I just have to, I only have two of these, but I have to, three of them. Yeah, because the other, the one is here. But it's on the thicker side, and my little doodad, I can I can go through most of these, um, because like this one's a little bit thicker too. Like I'm I'm probably can go through this one, but this one I'm like iffy about. I may have to get a special bit, but either way I'll be doing it. It's just I don't know if I could do it for like another week or two, because I'm gonna order a bit for this. Um, but I wasn't, I, I was like, I'm not going to do it until after Christmas. And this has a star here that I also want to put a hole in so that there's a hole in the star with a, so something can hang down here and then have the hole here. Um, I got it knowing it didn't have a hole in the bottom, but I figured I could put a hole in it because I mean, I'm able to put a hole in the, in the, this one, I could put, I could put a hole right in that one, which I've already done. And I put a hole in one of the other ones I did too, but Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, is anybody else interested in one, or is that it? Uh oh, what did I do with the other one? Did I not put it out here? I had a teardrop. Oh no, it was that. No. Yeah. Oh, and I have new ones, and that's what I was just looking for before. I was looking for the new ones I have, interesting ones that are really cool. And they're in, oh, I have those in the box. That's right. I left those in the box because I had no way of really, st oh, no, no, no. Oh, I know where they are. Wait. They're, in, they're, they're in their boxes, but they're over here. And they're really cool too. These are here, right? This box, I think. I wanted something like, I like the different shapes. Um, uh, this is a circle one. This is another one like, like this one. I believe it's the same size as that one. Let me see, because they have, they're in their little boxes. They each have their own little, little boxes. Yeah, that's the same. That's these. Okay, because I have some of them out of the box, but most of them are in, still in their boxes. They're individually boxed. And then the there these ones here. These are cool. They're also hard to get out of the box. These ones are different. Look at these. Aren't they cool? They look like a top. <laughs> Those are cool. I like these. I like the ones that are shaped different, that are just like you know, just weird or different. I find interesting. So, yeah. Oh, they down here. Yeah, that's my other. It was a tea. It was for tea, but <laughs> I stuck my boxes of things in there. Yeah, you almost got the peacock, remember Michelle? But then you ended up getting your box and you had like two charms in there, all, two things in there already and you were like, I'm not going to get the peacock one. <laughs> and now I have two different peacock ones. I have that one and I have that one. All right. Let's uh, let me put these back. Oh, wait, I don't think I have to put those in with the turtles. I don't think the rest of these don't really fit. I think this one 
Mm, it doesn't really fit. They're so big. These goddesses need to go back in their bag. The only ones that fit in here, barely, are the ones that are in here. And some of them are sticking out. But I did find another box at the Creative Reuse, another, um, you know, thinger. Uh, what the hell is it called? A um, feed box. But it's not, it's not going to hold charms, though. So these will just have to go in bags for now until I have like boxes to keep them in. It'd be easier if I had everything in a box. I don't have to dig through bags. I can just have them all in a little spot. Because then I have the other ones in. Some of them are in this other case. Some of them are in another case. Like a, not a case, but like a file box thing. Where this come from? I don't know. Okay. Some of these in bags. I'll put the last angel wings together along with the only two of these chicks I have. We'll put those in there. Anything else I could put in there? Just only two of these. Okay. And then I'll put the seahorses in here. I have that other seahorse. Where did that other seahorse go? Oh, right here. That's the one I'm making for Kelly. Oh, the moon. Those can fit in the box if I have a spot for them. What else can fit in there? Do I have mermaids? Oh, here's that seahorse. I found it. So, okay, so let's go in there. Yeah, it took me forever to find what I was looking for. That was one thing I had such a hard time with because I have to be very specific on what I wanted because I have to make sure that it has enough, it has, you know, a loop at the top to hang the hanger and then enough somewhere to put the things to hang the charms down or I mean the, the crystals down and you know like some of them don't even have a hole in the bottom like there's this one and I have to physically put a hole in it but this was so pretty I didn't want to not put a hole in it and then I put a rhine I'm going to put a rhinestone in the center of that one because I think that would look really pretty but I mean and I also have a couple of um semi-precious stones that are flat backed that Debbie gave me and I'm thinking one of them will fit in there and that would be really pretty if I could put like one of the you know crystals or whatever that is you know those type of crystals all right so I'm gonna have the peacocks where's my big bags oh here they are that's the only bigger ones oh did somebody else want one What's the one you want? Can I have the one that looks like a sun or... Oh, oh, oh. The one I was just talking about. This one. Yeah. What did you want hanging from it? Yeah, I only have two of these peacocks. But I have a bunch of the other ones. Jingly jangly. Flowers and leaves together. I don't have any other flowers. Did I already do one? Oh, yeah, I did do one with that. And then, oh, yeah, the little moon. I forgot I had the little moon, too. Oh, that would be cute. If I did this this one and then did some crystals and put the, the, the moon in the middle. Tina, what do you think of that? That would be perfect. So I would do like crystals, put a moon, and not just put the moon, but I would put a little crystal hanging from the moon in the middle here, and then have the rest of them hanging off the bottom. So like that, some crystals, the moon, a little hanging crystal here, and then more crystals, and then your, your bigger piece at the bottom. That would be awesome. And then I could find one of her doodads that she gave me, Debbie. 
and put it in there. One of the doodads. That would be pretty. Hi, Terry. Did you get my message, Terry? I sent you a message um, about, because your stuff is going out on Monday. Um, yeah, and I had stuff. The guy that came to pick up my mail and all the boxes, he didn't have room in his truck for like three or two of the boxes, the big boxes. And I was like, uh, okay. He's like, can I pick them up on Monday? I'm like, yeah, I guess. I mean, what else? What what else am I going to say? No. He's really nice. So I, I, I hate get. I don't want to get mad at him because I kind of got pissy with him the day that he didn't come at all for the stuff he was supposed to. But I, I do understand he was swamped for Christmas. So I tried to let that go, even though I, I was not happy about it at all. I was not a happy camper about that incident. But... And these dragonflies I don't want to put in there. So let me know. Yeah, you can let me know now or, or when you have in your head what colors you want, um, Tina. And then I can go from there with your colors. Where did the rest of my sons go? I have more of those. Did I put them in here? No. Oh, here are these. All them together. Oh, well, we should be with these actually. I'll just put the whole bag in there. And then I have those suns. I have a ton of these. What do I do with them? Oh, here they are. Never mind. I'm not putting those in there. I'll put these. Oh, and I forgot about the fairies I had in here, too. I did have more fairies. Why did I think I only had two? That was stupid. I have more fairies. Alright, let me put the fairies in here. Because the suns are going to go in this box here. And that's a filigree butterfly. But the, I didn't realize I had more fairies. I thought I only had the ones that, I, the two. I don't know why I forgot that I had more. Okay, good. And this way I can put those suns. And these moons, but not yet. These moons here. Okay. Um, so, do you want to do, um, well, what's your budget? Let me know what your budget is, and that'll depend on how long it is. Like, I could do a nice one for 25 with the sun and the moon, and I stuck it in here like a dumbass. The sun and the moon, and then a thing at the bottom, or do you want something more, like, Fancier than that? 30? Okay. I can do that. Ooh, I could put one of the little square dudes. Did I order more of those square ones? No, but I have the round ones. And I could put another middle piece in, like a bigger, a bigger uh, crystal in the middle. Alright, now, can I get those? Put those. I'll put those in here. How cute little geckos. I love the little geckos. They is cute. Because I don't order. Oops. Um Oh yeah, I did. I got more of the square ones that I liked that I ran out of. Oh, 
The only thing with these is they don't have two holes on them, so I can't put them in between anything. Um, they're just for like hanging at the bottom of something, but I got stars, I got hearts, and I got moons, and they're all A, B. They're A, Bs. So these can only go like, these, you know, I wouldn't suggest these hanging at the bottom because you, you want like a rainbow maker and this is not going to do it for you because it's little, but these would be cute for earrings. These would be real cute for earrings. I'm making myself a pair of the moons and the star, like probably every one of them, but yeah, these would be great for earrings and then for, um, earrings, bracelet, necklace, or for like, um, like the small type of, I mean, well, I guess I could do, oh, I could do that, couldn't I? If I did one of the ones with the four, I could do, do a regular crystal, like a hangy one, like, you know, any kind. And then on the two ends here where there's holes, I can do like, you know, a star on either one or a moon or whatever on either, just on either one of the sides like that hanging down. So I could do something like that with them, but since they don't, they only have one hole in them. And I didn't even think to think about that when I found them, I was like, yes, I want those. Um, but I, I wish there was a hole on both ends. Thanks Robin. Hmm. But yeah, I think I'll try that with the moon that I'm making. Yeah, I think I'll try that with the moon. I'll do like a moon and a star on either side of the, the clear or even, no, I can't do it with that one. It would have to be the clear or one of the, don't I have a big round one too? I don't know. I don't know what I need more of. I need more of these size. To finish my first, um, what do you call it, thing? My first um, wind chime. These are the like half inch, or they go by millimeters, but I was learned because I <laughs> I, I messaged the one lady I deal with and she said cause she, I guess she, well she makes she does like chandeliers and stuff and she makes like um really cool like crystal chandelier pieces and she designs them and makes them and stuff and I'd asked her what I need like a half inch octagon she she goes you mean a, a she goes well we work in millimeters we don't work in inches and I'm like oh excuse me I was unaware that I couldn't say an inch <laughs> She works in millimeters, not inches. Okay. She didn't say it's naughty. I'm just making it up like she said it's naughty. She really didn't. She was just basically telling me, find out what millimeter, because she can't gauge what a half inch is when it's done in millimeters. But in my head, I was making it up like she was saying it's so snotty. But I know she wasn't. I've just stupid and don't know any better. And I left out one of the sun. Alright, so Tina, I'm doing this one. If I could find a piece of paper, that would be awesome. I'm not sure where they all want to. And I the sun. Okay. So yeah, just uh, if you're done ordering whoa, and you're not ordering any more sun catchers or anything, you can just add it, add that price to your order of your other things. Or if all you ordered was a sun catcher, you can go ahead and just PayPal that to me. And uh... and so okay, so yours I'm doing for 30 and I'm going to take these little doodads to the back. I think I have new ones I got in. Little ones, I got little ones in for that. I thought I did 
Maybe not. I thought I had gotten little ones that I could hang from there. I know I did, but I just don't know where they are. I seen them a little while ago. Don't remember where I did one. I do too. I have a ruler with millimeters. I just haven't. I don't. I can't. I was looking for it a second ago. I, oh, there it is. I I see it. I, I have the wooden ones. I have don't have millimeters, but the this one over here does. And, let me see what size that crystal was. How many millimeters? Because I got some that are small, but they're the wrong size. They're too small. So, because I ordered the wrong millimeter, apparently, because I'm stupid. All right, so this is a, oh yeah, it's a 10 millimeter. And all this time I've been, is it 10 or 11? Mm, I think I've been calling it an eight millimeter this whole time, but it's actually not. Because it's, Hold still. No, it's actually a, because the other ones are 12. Wait, what are the normal ones? The normal ones are 12, I believe, 12 or 14. Oh yeah, 14, okay, so these are, normal ones are 14. So these gotta be, they look like, well, I guess it looks like 11 to me, but yeah, it's definitely 11. So 11, I never even paid attention. So these are 11 millimeters for sure, because it's going right down one line past. So it's 11 millimeters and I'm calling them eight millimeters like a dumbass, but I got eight millimeters in and I was like, oh crap, they're way too small, but they're not way too small because I'll still use them. Because I think they'll be pretty to have, to have three different sizes. But I now I have to go and get 11 millimeters. I'll, 10 millimeters is fine, but I have to find them now because all this time I thought I needed eight millimeter. Found out the hard way that no, I didn't. I needed 11 or 10. One of the two is fine. But yeah, that was that was a a wake up call when I got them and I went, uh, those are way smaller than the other ones I had. <laughs> not so bright and don't forget new year's eve i'm doing a live stream we are going to play pictionary and make um just, i think i'm just making brownies or something i don't know yet but I'm not just making one thing i think either brownies or the sugar cookies but um all right so i'll put 30 on here so you yours total was 36 from tonight and your sun catcher was the moon and the sun. Sun catcher, not in that order, but. Okay, so that means that this is going to be the sun on top, on top, and then the moon in the middle. Ooh, you know what would be cute? If I put one of those AB stars hanging right in the middle of the moon. Oh, that would be cute. That would be really cute. Let's see. What is it? I'd say one of the moons, but that would be silly. Oh, look how cute that would fit so nice. Oh, how cute. Do you like that, uh, Tina? I can do the, the moon with a star hanging. Yes, we're making strawberry daiquiris. And... We're making strawberry daiquiris and we're going to play Pictionary where, um, we're not going to play it with a board game or anything, but we're going to play it where, all right, so like, I'm going to give different categories. I'm going to write down a whole bunch of different categories and I'm going to give Janie the categories. And so she's going to, um, tell everybody or I'll just tell everybody and they could pick from one of the categories, but the categories are going to be things like mixed media, mixed media mashup. Um, ATCs, cards, um, steampunk and stuff like that. And I have to draw that. And then the person on the phone, cause I'm going to tell somebody who wants to play the person that wants to guess, I'm going to give them my phone number on Facebook messenger. And I'm going to say, you can call me and I put you on speaker. You're going to watch it on the screen, but you're going to tell me what I'm drawing and like guess, you know, the person guesses and says, Oh, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. And they keep guessing until they get it. 
and I'll put the timer on and they'll have like a certain amount of minutes or like a minute to guess and they'll be on the phone and anybody can be at one of the people that calls in to do that. Wouldn't that be fun? And I'll draw in my craptastic way because I can't draw worth a damn and I'll have like a minute to draw whatever it is and it'll be like an art thing, you know? It'll be an art related thing. Like, one of them might be, you know, draw gesso, you know, and I have to figure out how to draw gesso, you know, or something like that. There's going to be a whole bunch of things. I think it'll be funny. Okay. I think that would be pretty funny. Hmm. Yeah, I love these. I have those other ones, but these ones, like I'll show you the other ones I have that are big, but those are so sparkly because they have all those cuts on them. These are bigger or smaller than those. Oh, they're, I think they're the same size. See, there's like this one, which is the pretty standard one. That's huge. And then there's this one, which I think actually, yeah, they're about the same size. But this one's got like a different, you see how the cuts are different? They're like, like rectangles and these are like triangles. So I think they call this like the disco ball or something. They're so sparkly and pretty. Pretty. I'm dumping them all over the place. Get it back here. They're so heavy. Like if you feel one, you'd be like, good lord. This is heavy as hell. You need your roller skates. Oh, <laughs> disco ball. I have a disco ball, a real disco ball, a big one, like a big one, like, like big. It's packed downstairs, but it used to be in my basement. And I, when we would have parties, I, we'd have the disco ball down there. I got it on eBay probably almost 20 years ago. Um, at least, well, about 16 years ago, because I bought it when we first moved here, probably the first year we moved here. We moved in here. We moved here. Yeah, 16 years ago. And I bought, I found it on eBay for 25 bucks. It's huge. And I wasn't expecting it to be that big. I thought it was going to be like around this big. And when it came, it was like that big. And I was like, holy crap, that's big. <laughs> and it's like the big ones that you'd see at like a roller rink or something. Oh, that little dude. Let's see that in here. Mm. Alrighty. Uh, I'm probably just going to get off of here for tonight because I did get up quite early. And I want to get some things cleaned up. And get something to eat um, so I'm not gonna come on tonight but tomorrow I'm probably gonna do um, a patreon live stream because I didn't get to do one this weekend and then of course Tuesday is Christmas Eve so and I have to go to the store tomorrow too because I need my stuff to make my strawberry daiquiris and yeah you went to a bar called 2001? Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, if I had the disco ball where I can get to it, I'd get it. But I have no idea what box it's in. I don't remember. But I don't know where I'd hang it either because I don't really have anywhere to hang it up here because it was for downstairs. Eventually, I'll find it. I 
And all right, you guys have a, oh, I need to do the giveaways. I didn't even think of that. Oh my God, my brain is like completely fried. I'm tired and I'm not even thinking of it. I have to do the, the giveaway thingers. Duh. <laughs> For everybody that bought something, that is including crystals, if you bought one of those two, you're in the giveaway. So I will write everybody down. I have a page one. Okay. So make sure you're paid up so that you can be in the giveaway because I'll check in a minute. Oh, I had Pauline twice because she wanted, that's right, I, I I knew she had more than one thing. She had two things. She has the $3 thing up there, so I forgot to put her in the right place. Let me put it here and I'll get rid of that. Ugh. has sorry ribbon too. How did I miss all this? How did I end up putting her in three places? I don't know why I did that. I really I don't know. So she, she had three things, not two. else I did that to just her <laughs> all right let me double check I got everybody from here which I did I know I wrote everybody down but let's just double check not those Tina, I got Tina on here. I got Sandy, I know that. I got Esther, I know that. I got Robin, yeah. And I got Dawn. Yes, okay, cool. Too cool for school. do the final regular giveaway too. Oh, why am I doing that? Before I cut all these up, I need to check all the things and things. Do otherwise it's a pain in the butt to do it any other way. Let me check real quick. Just give me one second and I could do that whole rigmarole. My mouth is still dry. Yeah, dry mouth. Okay, Tina. Tina. And Robin. And. And Dawn. Gosh. 
Ow. And Jimmy. And JD. Ow. And Barbara. Where's Barbara? There she is. My back. It feels like there's something poking me. And Donna. Laura. And Julia. I don't write y'all down. What did I miss? Oh. Oh, what else? Did I miss? No. Four. 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 Okay, I missed Jill. This is why it's good to do that. Three. Okay. Jill. Rebecca, Esther, Wendy, Jamie, She go. There it is. Alright, so I got all them. And I got all but one, two, three, four. Okay. I'm just missing four. I think Pauline went to bed, so ow. She might have forgot. Unless she's still up, which I'm not sure. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's Joy. Okay, I got Joy then. For a second, I thought I didn't see it. Oh, you maybe I needed the refresh and it popped up. I just didn't see it. But everybody else, let's see then. I need Rome's and Pauline, which I think she probably went to bed. Elsbit, and that's it. Elsbit, Rome, and Pauline. Unless I miss something. Did I miss somebody's? I'm looking to make sure. I don't see it. So, um, yeah, I got yours, Miss Joy. Um, Rome, are you still in here? And Elsbeth? Where'd Laura and Elsbeth go? Are they gone? She might have went to bed. Okay, well. I think those are the only three that are... Now, I need my cup. I need my cup. Oh, Tigger, what do you want now? What do you want now, child? What do you want, child? Cup. Yeah, I got you, JD. Oh, I got you, Miss JD. I just got Pauline, I think, went to bed and forgot. I got everybody else but 
Pauline and Rome and Elsbit. Don't think so, didn't say goodbye. Mm. Oh god, can you imagine if you lost your debit card? That would suck. And didn't realize it until just now. Who knows how long how long it's been sitting somewhere. That would not be good at all. Back here. Okay. Oh, my back hurts. Good night, Michelle. Okay, whoa. I got somebody in my hand. Giovanna, you won, Miss Giovanna. Yay! Miss Giovanna won. Miss Giovanna won. Miss Giovanna won. You win a crystal sun catcher. Just tell me what color you like. You can. You don't have to tell me right this second, but I'll put down one sun catcher. She's still in here. Oh, there you are. Yes, congratulations, you. Woohoo! You can message me and tell me what you want. Like, just tell me, do you want, like, if you want a butterfly on top? Or, um, the only thing you can't have on top is one of the things I have very little of. But if you want a butterfly, you can have it. If you want one of these peacocks, you can have it. Um, one of the, the, um, uh, um, one of the unicorn pegasus things or the tree of life or goddess lady or it's just not the turtles or the hummingbirds or the seahorses you can have one of these but the other ones these couple I only have a couple of so you can have, and then you can tell me what color. I can do a rainbow, or I can do whatever color you want, like a color scheme of some sort. So you don't have to let me know now on that. That is, um, tell me over the next like few days to whatever. You want a snowflake one? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, you mean like an ornament? Oh, my stomach. Oh, it's growling. So you want like the snowflake ornament? I'm trying to remember what I made for you, actually. Oh, did I do the snowflake in the middle? And then the, the clear snowflakes? And it was like an ornament, right? I think it was. What am I doing? This one. Snow. Snowflakes. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. If you could send me an email, that'll jog my memory because I, yeah, I already sent it to you. So, yep. 
memory is jog needs to be jogged. Cool. And then I'm just going to do one more of the other kind of giveaway where it's just um, through the chat with Nightbot. And that anybody can be in. And that is for. Um, it is. Is it the wrong one? Oh. That is for a set of these stencils. There's a dragon, and it has two stencils with each one. You get like a top stencil and then like a body stencil. Um, there's that. And. And then there's some MTV buttons, and there is a sun catch. These couple little sun catchers. One is an elephant, and the other one's a zebra. And you can paint those and make them look pretty. And I usually put other things too. So, um, and anyone can win that. Joy, you won, Miss Joy. I'm going to hold on a piece of tape so that it'll all stick together. This way I don't lose it. And then I can just write the name on this. Joy. I'll also put it there too. can't lose it. Awesome. Yes, I will see you all New Year's Eve with bells on. I'll probably come on. It'll be between 8 and 9, so it'll probably be around 8.30 on New Year's Eve. So, uh, you know, count on that. Plus, I'll put a, a, a thing in the group, so the main group, and I'll send it through Patreon, too, so that everybody, as many people can see it, so that they don't miss it. Um, Elspeth is doing a thing that night before, prior to the live stream. She, her and Laura, I get, well, Laura, no, it's actually Laura's thing, I believe. Laura's thing, and it, and Elspeth's doing it, and a couple other people. And they're doing a live stream where they're going to do like a roaring or the, a roaring 20s theme, something or other. Like, because we're going into 2020 and the theme of that is like roaring 20s, like the flappers and all that. Flappers and Great Gatsby and all that. So they're doing like that theme and then they're going to, I guess, be done or everybody's going to be doing it throughout the day, I guess, on Tuesday. Some of them might even be doing it tomorrow. But I'm... Um, she can put a link to, I'm sure she'll put a link in our group, but with the links that everybody who's participating in it, so you can go watch. I really wanted to participate, but there was just no way I was going to get done what I needed to do to ever be able to do anything for it because I have too much to do in the next two days. But I do want to still do a Roaring Twenties theme something because I think that would be a lot of fun. I'm just not going to be able to do it for her specific thing. I'll have to do it for just doing it um, at some point in the next, you know, whenever. But anyway, so that'll be fun, though, to watch. So definitely be checking out Laura Free, you know, One-Legged Witchy Woman, Be Ma's Crafty Corner. Yeah, Be Ma's Crafty Corner. And it is in the group. Okay, she posted it in our group, so you'll be able to find it and see everybody who's involved and everything. I think that would be really cool to go check out. And see what everybody's making for their Roaring Trunk 20s craft. Hi, Janet. Am I crap? Yes, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna auction off my creme brulee torch. As long as I don't have to auction off my creme brulee. I still have one of those left. I ate the other two.
But all right, everybody, have a good night. I'm going to clean up in here and finish cleaning up so that I can, because I still have a few more things to put away from Christmas. And then I got to get this, I got to get some work done. I got to get this house straightened out a little bit because I've got now an explosion of, after I cleaned the whole dining room and kitchen, made it all nice for Christmas Eve, it is now an explosion again of stuff everywhere. And before I fall asleep, which is probably going to be soon because I've been up since eight o'clock this morning. Um, I'm going to do some straightening up and put some stuff away and then, yeah, then I'll be going to sleep soon. So I'm unfortunately not doing an after stream today, but I am doing a Patreon stream tomorrow. So I will see you then. Um, I'll probably be working on some crystals or something to get, um, get a move on on those. I'm, but yeah, anyway. I will see you guys soon. Have a good night, everybody. And if I don't see you for New Year's, have a wonderful New Year's and a safe New Year's if you plan on going somewhere. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in 2020. But for those who will be around on Tuesday, I will be live at some point between 8 and 9 on Tuesday. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. Bye, Dawn and everybody. See you next year. <laughs> poodle pack. Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.